Hello and welcome to Saturday Night Gaming. This is October 16th, so we're getting into the spirit of Halloween. I am Mark W, and next to me is... Rabab. Hello, Mr. Rabab. I have just got this game that I've never played before. It's called Golden Crone Hotel. It is a modern roguelike game with vampires. So we're going to check it out, play it for the first time, and see how we like it. What do you think of that? I think it's hopefully a good game. Hopefully a good game. Hopefully. All right, so let's switch to our window here. And by the way, this is all about hanging out and chatting, so if you want to hang out and chat, please do so. so. We have Start Morgue Options. I don't know what Morgue is, but I wonder if it's like saves. That, no, it might be like a high score list of yeah, maybe it's like your, <laughs> your best runs. Yeah. All right, let's check Options. And again, I've never played it, so you'll have to bear with me as I go through a tutorial and get used to the controls and such. Alright, so it looks like um, our keys are something like... I guess it's basic... Um, oh, it has different kinds of keys. It has a gameplay keys like WASD. Alright, up, down, left, right, and all that. And it has... Down here it says it also has a traditional key that it's northwest and all that or diagonal. That's interesting. So maybe you should, should have I a number use, pad. Should I use my number? I don't know. It also has Gronyard mode. <laughs> Gronyard. Name, ASCII mode and diagonal movement. All right. It, all right. So I think that's basically an advanced mode. Gronyard is a term that, that means like an old veteran kind of. So it's referring to an old school gamer who probably wants to use diagonals and stuff. But I, I don't know. I'm going to just go with the, the more basic mode, I guess. Unless that really cripples me somehow. Hey Ryan, how's it going tonight? Okay, let's jump into it. Or should we check what the morgue is? No morgue files yet. So no nobody's dead, dead yet. <laughs> Ryan says Sanguli is yep. doing Son of Frankenstein. Yeah, you get to hang out with us being all creepy like Sanguli, except uh, I don't quite have his makeup going, but we're going to play this roguelike with vampires. Alright, so Mina says... Shh, dear, you're still in a bad way. Rest now with space. So Mina is coincidentally, probably not coincidentally, uh, a name, the name of one of the characters in uh, Dracula. You rest for a while. You stay in that bed, you hear me? When you're hurt, you gotta recover. Rest again with space. Okay, rest in, rest in. What are you doing laying around? You told me to rest. We're under attack. Wake up. What, what, what? Hospitals under attack. Uh, are we in a hotel or a hospital? Okay, hospital, I guess, for now. I don't know. I think we got hospital beds. You're right. She got, looks like. she got the cross. Okay, uh, I was expecting a tutorial. Maybe that's actually a separate thing. Oh. We have a character sheet, a hotel map. You're, like, exploring a hotel. Yeah, it's an evil hotel. Okay, we're playing easy mode, which is good, because we're noobs. Uh, here's our stats. They don't really mean a whole lot because they don't know relative to what, you know. But we have uh, attack accuracy, defense, evasion, speed, strength, dexterity, intelligence, basic things. Equipment, we have a revolver with zero bullets. That's not too good. Sword, plus two. Shield, plus two. Plate, plus two. We have, we have plate armor, apparently, from the get-go. And leggings, nice pantyhose, I guess. Um, resistances, physical, poison, fire, ice, electric, psychic. So we have a little bit of resistance to all those things, I guess. But not to moonlight, sunlight, blast, or water. So my understanding is you can either fight vampires or be a vampire in this game. I don't know if I am one right now. I I guess not. Uh, let me just check if there's a tutorial mode, because I feel like there should be. I don't get back to a menu. Escape doesn't do it. I guess this is it. Uh... I was just exit game. Should I exit game? Here we go. Start tutorial. Mm, Perfect. Okay. I'm going to turn up the game's volume a little bit because I think it's totally inaudible to you guys, probably. Okay. Start tutorial. It doesn't actually do anything. Okay. That because I'm in the middle of a game? I should actually I should tell you that. Not exactly good uh, user interface design. Um, I'm going to try quitting the game and then going to that. I want to go to the menu, not actually exit the whole game. 
I think exit game might do that. I don't know. Or character uh, select. No, character sheet. That's this. Never mind. Okay, here goes nothing, guys. There you go. <laughs> that's kind of... Yeah. All right. You see what it's doing, but it's kind of a little... It makes you wonder, are they going to quit the whole game? The whole application? Well, now you know. Ryan's S Tower things in Long Island. Pretty good here, Ryan. I just went to a fancy dinner with my wife. We were celebrating a job promotion. And Ryan says, your background looks different. Yeah, I guess I just have my, just my laptop angle a little differently. Yeah, just a usually. different angle. This song reminds me of the Munsters theme a bit. I'm going to turn it up for a moment. So we can get groovy with it. Turning that down a little bit again. Okay, yeah, that's a fun little, fun little intro music. Uh, it is my promo, Ryan. All right, let's see if we can get into a tutorial this time. You, have, you can enable jack o' lanterns. Enable jack o' lanterns. Well, we do want jack o' lanterns, right? Okay. Where is this tutorial again? Sheesh, it's menu. At the bottom. There you go. All right. There that we was, go. That was the tutorial. I think. I don't know. Shush, dear, you're still in a bad way. Rest now in space. This looks the same. It might not be the same. Though. Yeah. You might not immediately get attacked. That's right. I, I'm a head hacker. Now I'm capable of hacking all government agencies. He was promoted to chief hacker. Chief hacker associate. No, chief hacker um, professional. What are you doing laying around? We're under attack. Wake up. Okay, vampirism. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it wasn't the tutorial. It doesn't actually tell me what to do now. So I'm assuming I'm just going to walk around randomly. It'll maybe it'll tell you when you get up. Yeah, I no. am. I just got out of bed. I, I am this guy. I am Serena Ar Ar Arabase? Arabase? I don't know. You don't know how your own name is pronounced. I don't know how my own name is pronounced. Take these. Iron, Angle, and Zerk. All you need to fight your way out of here. One more thing, says Columbo. A letter meant for you. I only read the first half. I swear on my bubbin, sis. Yeah, bubbla. Read it later. For now, walk over to the storeroom. You must be starving. You're I'm ravenous. Not... I'm ravenous. You're right. My hunger level in the side here is ravenous. Okay, let's go eat something. I can't see a thing in there. Why don't you light that torch with E? Good idea. Go grab one of those potions and quaff it. Sorry to say, we don't keep much solid food around here. Oh, man. I was hoping for better than, like, a liquid diet. No. Steak dinner for you. Actually, I ate a lot of dinner, so it's alright. Alright, so I have two effervescent potions and an aromatic potion. I guess we're going to drink one at random. But when I hit Q to quaff something, I see I also have an ale on me. That provides a small amount of sustenance for humans. So that's another another hint right there that maybe you can play this game as a, and I thought I heard this, but as a vampire or a human. So now the effervescent potions are not an option here. I wonder if they were identified as a silence potion. Anyway, I'll start with the ale maybe because that provides sustenance it says. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Exactly. Okay, so it's just telling me the one potion, the aromatic potion, could be one of these. A silence potion, ale, or a clarity potion. Okay. So, ale could look like... But I can press P for the full potion. What's that? So, air, ale could be that. Yeah, because it's aromatic, and maybe it smells like beer. But I'm not sure. Here's the effervescent potion. Oops. I drank it. Okay, I was hoping I could just look at the Does possibility. tell you what it is? Yeah, it was a curry noodle soup, so it was apparently... <laughs> A potion and like mm, curry noodle soup. I probably, I guess I couldn't tell there were noodles into it. Um, they it, painted it, the outside. Yeah, it was opaque and I couldn't see the noodles floating around in there. And Ryan said my daughter has her homecoming dance tonight. They grow up fast. Oh my. That yeah yeah. Homecoming dance. Wow. Mina says good. Let's move on. Are you going? Is it father daughter? I doubt it. Right. Okay, let's keep going. We got our noodle soup in us, and we are now stuffed. <laughs> That's how filling this noodle soup was, the curry noodle soup. They kept it kept it in a potion bottle. I had to barricade the door. Quick, smash up those beds. Why am I smashing the beds? Oh, to make maybe yeah. some, more, some more wood for barricading? They, were, they are the barricade, I think. I destroyed the bed. Yeah, you're right. I had to dig through the beds to get through the door. 
You will deal 12 damage to the bed. Take that, you bed. Yeah, what's this? Grimoire. About these pits. Oh no, it's from E.T. maybe. About these pits. Long story. Go read that book. Okay, fine. Alright, now cast that spell with the one and float on. Okay, so I got a levitate spell, as it says over here. And I'm going to be able to levitate above the pits. And only, only if E.T. had the levitate above the pits, right? Okay, I can't do anything but press one, apparently. <laughs> like I'm trying to get out of the menu. Okay, one levitation. Ta-da! Can she levitate too? Huh? She's got a levitation potion as well. Ryan says, No, thank goodness, father daughter dances ended years ago. Okay, I'm gonna brighten my screen a little bit. Alright, what is this here? Four bullets. Get a gun. Bams, you're in no condition to take on five of them, but if you were to shoot that stained glass with F. Yes, we got five uh, vampires. You can tell they're vampires because their eyes are glowing. And the neighbor's dog is barking. And all right. And Ryan says, "I'll see how long she stays. They have to be seven inches apart, but they only have half the gym." Yeah, good luck getting a bunch of kids in a, a room who want to dance with each other to stay an exact number of inches apart. Okay, let's fire at the stained glass. Okay, with hit F. What? Maybe need those bullets. Hold on, hold on. Tell me to press F. That's all. You're out of bullets. Okay, I'll get the bullets. Now press F. At the stained Guess glass. The bottom, maybe? I don't know. Whoa, the glass just like killed all of them except. I think it's the light from outside. Oh, the light. <laughs> That's actually a cool mechanic. You can, uh. Well, I mean, obviously, they were... if they were smart vampires, they wouldn't be standing there. But, um. That's cool. You can let light in and it just kills them. Yeah. But what is this? Is it a brawler? What is so... it? Decibel, it's a Decibel the Brawler. That's his name. Alright, so this water, uh, can we walk across it? Should we shoot the Brawler? I don't know. Let's talk to her again. She doesn't have anything. Oh, he's still getting hurt. See that? Okay, so it doesn't instantly kill them. Yeah. So it's doing damage every turn. I'll just let him die then. Now he went up in flames. He didn't, brawler dies. He didn't walk into the. Right. He should have walked away. Yeah, he's not a very smart vampire. Oh, I thought that was their ashes. They left gold pieces behind. It looks them. like yeah. I thought that was their ashes too. And like Arturo said, Minecraft looks kind of different to the hair. And yeah, we're not playing Minecraft right I now. I threw out the idea, and and uh, Rob Bob said he if he's gonna play a game like that, he'd rather play um. Oh, uh, what did you say? I said I'd rather play Terraria. Terraria, and then I saw this game on sale, seventy five percent off, and it looked pretty cool, so I got it. Also, by the way, Arturo 868 hack is on sale on Steam if you're interested in that. Oh my, you've turned... Oh, I'm a vampire. How did that happen? I didn't get bitten, did I? You're just a vampire. I start to feel a nagging thirst. And Ryan says he thought that Arturo was kidnapped. Of course I knew. Kept you on the elixirs for weeks until we ran out. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. You're going to have to sneak out of here now. I can't go in the light, right? I'm gonna. This is kind of like a wall for me. It won't instantly kill you. Well, I might not have enough health to survive. Yeah. One. Oh, I, it looked like I was doing something like 15 to them in a turn or something like that. So probably could, but I think the <laughs> idea is supposed to be that I move on from here. <coughs> You're going to have to sneak out of here now. Stay in the shadows when you can and get out. Good luck, Serena. Oh, what is this? A rat soldier. Okay, now he's a pile of red goo. You slurp up the delicious blood. <laughs> For some reason, it didn't occur to me that I would like to devour the blood. Uh, what did they say? Unlit torch. Just light it. What was the button to light the torch? E. Yes. Good call. Uh oh, oh, cat. That's a wolf. <laughs> that was a cat. All right, let's uh kill the cat. Uh, the wolf, I mean. Wait, I'm missing it. It's hurting me. That's not good. There we go. The wolf is carrying Drink gold. Its blood. Drink up some delicious blood lying around. So it's like net hack. You can eat their. Corpses. Yeah. But in this case, blood. blood, but only when you're a vampire. Another wolf. I'm hungry like the wolf. The bookshelf. I wish bookshelves did more again. Every time I find a bookshelf in the game, it's just a wall. I'm like, I want to be able to just search it for cool books. Yeah, maybe you could find a book occasionally that does something. Teaches you a skill. Or Teaches a spell. you a spell. Like it. Maybe you could find. Maybe if it was, you could find a spell book in there. 
that you could use. So now that Mina is not with me, I wonder if it's basically uh, that I'm on my own at this point. You find wolves and you eat them. I find I miss these guys a lot, but when I do hit them, I kill them. And they're talking about kidnapping in Mexico. Arturo says, it's not like that kind of stuff doesn't happen in Mexico, but still. <laughs> so every time I drink the blood, I get healed. If yeah, you get healed. Yum, yum, yummy, blood, blood. I think I would rather drink the blood, like, you know, vampire style. I drain it from them, I bite them in the neck or something, mm. rather than killing them and then slurping it off the floor. Maybe the rest of them disintegrates and their blood goes on the floor. Yeah. Okay, so these are people, I think, marauders. They each have names. Yulia Kojokaru, and this is Cyprian Matei. They have a question mark. I don't know what that means. They do something? Oh. oh. What do you do? He electric shocked me, or she did. So they have magic or something. There's a lot of them. There's four of them. I don't know if I like this. And they're all gingers. Ryan says, of course, Mark W. and Rob Bob present. It's Halloween game had to be like that. Of course, you know. It's actually on Steam some kind of special roguelike weekend going on. They say there's talks about roguelikes and there's always roguelike games on sale. Oh. So I got this game. I got 868 Hack. Cause that's one of my favorites on iOS. So I got it, from, got it on I Steam. Should, maybe I should get something. Yeah, well, Do you have any credit still from all your like gift cards? No, I used all those during the summer sale. Okay. No, no, the uh, violates. I don't... Hundreds of dollars of games. I'm gonna run up here because they're bothering. Oh, also it's dark up there. They don't file. They don't follow me into the dark. Is that? that I guess not. Like, oh, I don't like shadows. Well, you can hit them while you're still in the shadows. I can't do that unless I <laughs> unless I plug in my keypad for cheat mode. I think. Not really sure. Uh oh, Firestorm. I used a spell. I think. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too big. Let's drink this blood over here at least. Oh, he's following me into the shadow. They're not very aggressive. Could it be that they just can't see in the shadow? Like I'm protected, like like I'm not in their line of sight. Uh you should shoot, I'm gonna go die. To... Right. Drink the blood. You would have died there. But you Run. Think you got health back. Go to the left, maybe. I don't know if you heal up over time. That's the thing. Hey Stu, how's it going? Stu just got the notification he sent. I need some blood. I thought there was some to the right. I drank it, I drank it already. Oh, you already did. Uh, do I have any more potions? I think so, right? Should I eat some more curry noodle soup? <laughs> that's, a, that's a potion, I love that. Is the aromantic potion? Aromatic. Um, Aromatic. It just smells nice. Um, I could just drink it. Oh, here's the possibility. Clarity, which removes mind-altering effects. So that's not really what I care about. Ale, which is great for getting drunk. No, it actually provides some sustenance. And silence prevents the casting of all magic. That could be nice because they're casting spells that are killing me. Let's just try it. Sure. Nothing appears to happen with an ale. Okay. Okay. Mm, ale. So you could eat the curry or drink the curry, I guess. Does, it, does the food actually heal you, though? I don't know. What's my hunger status? It's neutral, I guess. Let's pass it through, guys. I don't think you're supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all these guys, there's just way too many. I'm just gonna sneak through the shadows. What happened? Oh, I think you finished the tutorial? I don't know. Okay, so it's giving me controls. WASD, interact is E, rest is space. Oh, I can just rest with space, right? Oh. Revolver is F. I forgot I had a gun. Oh, yeah. I could be shooting these people. Alright. And disguises. There are various disguises you can have. I only have officer. Disguise it so you're pretending to be a human? I guess. And also, apparently, your disguise alters your attributes like strength. I have plus one strength, minus one int. So, you dumb but strong. And better gear. And you get better gear and strength potion and holy water. Holy water is very useful. Because you can throw it at demons. And Ryan says, by the title. What, Golden Crone Hotel? I thought it was an adventure game. I thought you were encroaching or muscling in on Stu's territory. Now, Stu's got that cornered. I mean, he'll he'll send one of his guys to come break my kneecaps if, if I start playing adventure games. He'll steal your computer. Cauldron. There's a lot of cauldrons here. I'm breaking them for some reason. Break, break, break. Is there any purpose to that? No longer a cauldron there. 
As always, guys, let me know what you think of the sound level that can make the game music louder or softer. I got some tables. Copper breastplate. It's better than what you have now. Is it cursed? Okay, maybe? it looks like you automatically equip it if it's better. Uh, uh, if it's cursed, that's a concept in this thing. I don't know if it is. Um, it, it wouldn't be fair for it to automatically yeah, equip Yeah, I guess there probably isn't cursed, though. Yeah. Oh, what's this? A devil? A goblin. Let's shoot him. Who's the goblin? <laughs> Press F twice. Quickly shoots the nearest enemy. Mmm, delicious blood. You're disguised so you don't eat that. Oh. Well, I'm full on health, maybe that's why. Okay. I'm not sure, though. And Ryan's asking you a question, Rob Bob. Oh. I'm just for help. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my sister. What are you gonna be? I don't know yet. Should figure that out soon. You should be the leprechaun. Could, could be a leprechaun. <laughs> so you should be able to go in the sunlight. Wait, I'm not sure. I'm sure, I understand. If I'm in this this guy, does that mean I'm not actually a vampire? I mean, you didn't drink the blood. Well, that could be because I'm, I'm full on health. Yeah, I don't know. I also, try stepping in the, the light. blood went away. Well, I'm in the light right now, and I'm not getting killed. All right, so I think you're fine, and not a vampire. So it just vampires can go in disguise, and then they're uh, immune to sunlight all of a sudden. Hmm. I don't know. What's I guess. This? Okay. You got more... a potion. Hmm? You got a potion. Should I drink it? Let's drink it. Let's see Clarity what it, potion. Let's really see what it does or might do. What's the strength boost do? I mean, obviously boost your strength, but is it a permanent thing or what? It doesn't tell me. But I mount something. Hmm. Soul elixir. That's one possibility of what the cloudy potion can be. Temporarily transforms vampires into humans. Does not cancel any other effects. So this whole game is about vampires. You're fighting vampires. You can be a vampire. Somehow you can disguise, <laughs> disguise yourself and. Temporarily turn off your vampires. I don't quite understand it yet. Maybe you're, are you a human disguised as? I don't know. Those potion of experience. Different people. Instantly gives you enough experience to level up. Quick, temporarily increases your dexterity and speed. Okay. Those are all pretty good, I think. Maybe not the soul elixir. Ah, uh, I'm not really sure the implication of that. Maybe if you have to go through an area with a lot of sunlight. Yeah, that sounds like a reasonable use case for that. You're dressing up, Brian. Uh oh, what's this? Harpy? Ghosts? Oh, it's no. a Samka. It sounds like a kind of uh, coffee that old people drink. Samka. Gavril a grunt is down here. Let's shoot the old people coffee. Oh, I shot a he clock shot that's a... in the way. Oop. <laughs> he shot the old person's old clock. Old person clock. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of vampires or grunts, whatever they are. Are they vampires? They have red eyes, it must be. They're a vampire. How many bullets do I have? I don't know if I should be shooting so freely. Mm. Do they have like an inventory? Oh, you have three, I think. Cause Where do you see it? On the bottom right. Oh, yeah, right. Revolver three, okay. That could be just three bullets in yeah. the revolver. You have to manually re reload it. What's this guy? A rat soldier. Rat soldier. Vulnerable. Wait, what did that mean? Take more damage. A magical deficit in one's natural defenses. He takes significantly more damage against all elements. And it's 13 turns left. It tells you how many turns. That's not gonna go away anytime soon. Shoot you, rat guy. I have two bullets. What's my health anyway? 39, so I'm pretty good with health. But you can't gain it back as quickly. Oh, you're vulnerable. What's going on with this guy? He's just like making you. Look, I can't hit him. He moves backwards when yeah. I attack him. If I rest two spaces away, he can hurt me, so I guess he has a ranged attack. Do I have to just shoot him? Take that, you Sanka. There, I killed the Sanka. That in one shot. Ryan said BRB. There's a gun up there. Oh, the man with the golden gun. Plus two golden revolver. Drink some blood. No, I can't drink blood because I'm in disguise. Hey, you equipped the golden revol revolver and it's better than what you have now, but I still have the one bullet. Can I check my inventory? I is not inventory. I is floors. Or something. Uh, 
Maybe there's no inventory screen. I heard this game tried to keep it as simple as possible. And not let, not make you do tedious, like, bookkeeping work and stuff. It's yours. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. Um, I like being able to see your inventory, though. And uh, Stu says using original media sometimes is really painful. Are you trying to prepare a game for your stream tonight, Stu? The gluggy potion. No, Stu likes to play some old school games like just like I do, but he likes to get all the real media. Like he buys the discs on eBay, and that's that makes sense because you're at least you ha you can say you honestly have the game, you honestly own it. But sometimes the eBayers seem to, uh, from what I'm hearing from Stu, that they don't really keep the stuff in good condition or they advertise it falsely or it gets messed up in shipping perhaps a luggy potion this can teleport the user to the maelstrom i don't know what the maelstrom is in this case you also get the original media which is i do for the some, steam version i don't really have well <laughs> steam is okay steam, steam original media <laughs> that's what rob bob suggested uh what else we got this one is volatile poison that sounds dangerous to drink so it could either be curry noodle soup or poison that's just like when i go to um, an Indian restaurant. In the... Drink it and see if you die or not. Hmm. Burning torch. If you break the stained glass, is it just the outside? Hmm? Stained glass just for sunlight? Yeah, it just seems to let the sunlight in. That seems to be its purpose. <laughs> I don't think you can, like, break it and go through. Extinguish. I can extinguish the flames, too, for this one. Do you want to be in the dark, I guess, if you're a vampire? There's beds out in the open. I like to have my bed right by the this stairs. This is a weird room. Should we go up the stairs? Yeah. There's a table with no chairs and two beds. Look at this. Mercia Lupe, the mercenary. Okay. Stu's not happy about his media situation. Mm. Yeah, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh oh, it's a worker bee. Potion to the left. Uh, it's a bat. And the weird thing is that I keep thinking like I'm hovering over it when I do this, but it's actually down here where its shadow is. I don't like like it when games do that. It's just confusing. I guess it's because he, you know, he's up in the air, so yeah, it's... it can like show yeah. that they're flying. I guess. There's a pit. Hooray. I got the yellow potion. Don't drink yellow potion. Oh, mm. you leveled up. Okay. Pick an attribute to increase. We can in increase strength, dexterity, or intelligence. Oh. It seems like dexterity or strength right now. Because intelligence hasn't... I mean, you haven't used any spells yet. True. That might be more of a longer term thing. So, yeah. And generally in RPGs and roguelikes, spells are more of an advanced kind of an option and you want to go with your brute force combat powers first. I always like go you, strength. I always like to go intelligence so I can cast spells and stuff. But yeah, that is good too, but usually when you're in your Yeah, but usually you just yeah. be able to fight better. <laughs> in my opinion. Destroyed the grandfather clock. Take that you clock. What what? Oh, it's She's tricky. Friendly? Is she friendly? Can you talk? No. She can talk. Yes. Got any spare soul elixirs? Uh, Maybe, I think. They're worth their weight in gold in Craig's bellow. Hmm. Is everyone there a vampire? Should I drink a random thing? What'd she call it? A something elixir? S the soul elixir, that's all right. The cloudy potion might be that. Can I just give it to her? Well, you don't know who it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think I even have an option to give it to her. I can drink it to try to identify it. Yeah. And then later when I find one. Sure. I think you should. You should. Do, yep. You should give the gluggy potion and tell her that it's a soul elixir. Here you go. Here's your soul elixir. It's actually the curry or poison. Okay, drink the cloudy potion. You feel more like yourself. Maybe that was. Yeah, that was a soul elixir. Okay. So did I. You just drank gold, apparently. Stop banging the table. It's worth that much. Uh, Stu said, this is Golden Crone Hotel, and I said, yes it is. It looks just like the other game. Which other game? Pixel Dungeon? 
I guess. I shot him and missed them out of ammo, I guess. Who is this? Bogdan a Hawker. Where's a hawker? Is he a hawk hawk loogie? See a bird. And we got another wolf. Oh, is he friendly too? Pop. If you've got gold, I've got equipment. Ah, oh, he's a salesman. Okay. So it looks like I can um buy potions. Some of them are red. That almost looks like it should be things you can't afford, but I think it's the opposite. No. Red is something Which... else because some of the lower price things are red and some of the higher price things are red. Well I think it still could be the stuff that you can afford. Where is my gold? I have fifty, so I okay, can't afford no, never mind. You can't afford anything. So it probably is what you can't afford. It could be these are great because I already have one. I have a golden breastplate. You have a, do you have a, say like a copper one? Oh, the copper? I don't know. How do you see? Uh, not I for inventory. Look at the uh, controls. Mm-hmm. Actual action, chat, wait, rest. Doesn't look like there is one. I really not have an inventory. I mean, I, I get that if her, they try to make it so you're not tediously doing bookkeeping kind of stuff. It's suddenly raining really hard over here. Yeah, it's really raining. Um, but uh, I guess they try to. There's the shooing equipment by making it kind of automatically managed, so you pick up something better, and it just dumps your last one and replaces it with that, but. At the same time, I'm like, how do I even see which armor I have? It must be somewhere here, right? Hmm. I don't mind managing that stuff. I, I, I can get tedious somehow. I, if you listen to me playing that hack, I'm usually like, the one thing I don't like is when I have to manage my inventory, when I have to have too many things. Yeah. I'm like, well, now i got to figure out, you know, what stuff to weigh, to drop that's too heavy. Uh, but, you know... Yeah. All that stuff. Put stuff in bags. <laughs> or you. Last time I played in a hack, I was just like on the verge of being burdened constantly. So, right. like, I'll pick up a single gem and they'll say I'm burdened. Ancient shield is of no use to you, so you'll just sell it later for fifteen dollars. Can I go to this guy and sell it, or is it automatically? So it automatically, it automatically sold it. Sells it. it. Yeah. It's almost like they're trying to just remove the any kind of. Inventory management, so it's like, yeah, you just got the 15. We'll just assume you get it later, basically. Well, I'm gonna try to make it so you can see more stuff because I really have this useless icon <laughs> in the way and stuff, uh, and my ugly face. So I can put my ugly face right here. How about that? They should have like different types of weapons. Different I mean, types of weapons? They do, I guess, like revolver and sword. Yeah, different types of weapons. But like, maybe a another ranged weapon? I don't know. There's probably more. We just have to find them. I would think. Yeah, but it makes me think that there isn't just because of the way it manages it. I don't know, though. Alright, what do we got here? Shimmering potion. It could be a big potion. <laughs> Which doubles your stature. Either come big, antidote, or ale. Anything that can be beer is good. Let's drink it. What happened? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah! Yum. I had a delicious cocktail with cider today. That was good. With my fancy dinner. It wasn't ale, though. Right, and Ryan and Stewart are saying it looks like Pixel Dungeon, exactly. But Ryan actually says it's NetHack, and I turned up the graph. No, you can't. I was going to say you can't play as a vampire in NetHack, but that's actually not true, because <laughs> the, the slash of variant uh, does let you play as a vampire. So what is this? This is a statue. It Another thing you just smash. Do do vampires even exist in NetHack? NetHack, yeah. They're enemies. So could you polymorph into one? You can polymorph into anything. Yeah. yeah, so you could be a vampire. You could turn into a dragon and breathe fire. You could turn into something that turns into something that lays eggs, and you can just issue a command to lay eggs, and then you make babies. It's like, let's say you do practically anything. Take that, you cauldron. What was the last thing I got? Golden plate leggings are no use to you, so I'll just sell later for 22 gold and I automatically get the 22. The game was a bearded guy. Yeah, it's Pixel Dungeons too. 
Luggy potion. I have two look luggies, so let's drink one. Oh, it could be volatile poison though. Uh how bad is that? You have an ant actually no you don't. Never mind. I'm gonna try it anyway. It was it was <laughs> I'm smart. You should have given it to that person. I'm confused, I can't control my direction either. And it looks like I have eleven turns left of it, and each time I'm losing three damage, I think. So you'll live. Barely. But yeah, not good. What if I rest? Will that help? Ah. Oh, good, it expired. Oh, because I rested it. It's, I think it just... Well, I don't know. I was going to say maybe just repeated, like, sitting there doing nothing until something changed. But then my hit points would have been lower. So I think I somehow canceled it. Like, I kind of beat it before the number of turns expired. Shimmering potion. Shimmering. This could be a big potion or an antidote. Okay, I'll save that. Until I'm poisoned it's next like, time. It's like the other one. Wait, do I want to be going up or down? I came, I went up before, right? So I should go up again, maybe? Yeah, I guess. Did I explore everything? Probably not. I think... I think so. Maybe I did, yeah. I got this handy map at the bottom, I should be looking at that. There's no rooms in this hotel. There's just beds out in the open. Yeah, that's how it works in a fancy hotel, I guess. I don't know, just saying things. Okay, this looks a little bit different. Um, there's a book on the floor. Oh, it's identify. Select a potion to identify. Mm. Bubbling, gluggy, or shimmering. Well, what is the other possibilities for the gluggy potion? Gluggy can be recall, which teleports the user to the maelstrom, or curry noodle soup. Okay. Shimmering potion. We looked at that one. Oh, let's identify the one that has three possibilities. Yeah, that has more possibilities. You're able to deduce that you have a demon blood. What is it? Which does? Sounds delicious to me. That's the thing, it doesn't tell you what Can it you is. Can you hover over the was. icon? Oh. Okay. Good call. I don't, it's a little unintuitive because the whole thing highlights, so. Yeah. I should give them some user experience feedback, even though I'm not a UX guy. Anyway, Grant's Vampire. Grants vampires demonic abilities also heals vampires even if they're at full health. Alright, I want demonic abilities, but I'm not a vampire. What was the right strength now, boost then? Temporarily increases your strength. Okay, so you want that maybe maybe like before a big fight or something. There's like a boss? I don't know if those exist. I don't know either. Here's a Beardo. What does the Beardo want? Talk to the Beardo. Radu Albu says, Are you a fresh recruit? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If you run into a hungry bloodsucker, though, all bets are off. Yeah, I hacked people's heads, guys, just like Johnny Demonic. You know, I've never seen that movie. I heard it was bad, though. I saw in the last... You saw Johnny Demonic? No, I, I was going to say I saw in the April, last it's floor. Nice. Sorry, what? I saw in the last floor that some light sh was shining through the, through the glass. Oh, is that Santa Claus who attacked me? What? Steely in a brawler. He, Santa Claus. He did three damage. He threw me, look at that. <laughs> Picked you up. Let's shoot him. Take that, Santa. Did 20 damage to Santa. He still throws you after... after being shot. Congratulations, you leveled up. Probably okay. just do strength again. Uh, maybe dexterity. dexterity. Evasion and accuracy is good to have too. Okay. Looks like an organ. Shall we play it? Looks like the blood goes up away after a bit. Are you saying you you've seen it go away, or you're wondering? I've I've seen it. Like okay. I'm. Yeah, I think it just went away. Well, I'm out of uh, view probably right now. Ah, that could be okay, it. Okay, so let's use the organ. Maybe no, there's no option to use it. Oh, I want to play it. Oh, you can smash it, and it makes organy sounds. <laughs> I don't know, I hate to smash it though. Yeah, the blood's gone. Um, you press like E next to it? I couldn't. Ah. There wasn't the option. I tried it anyway. Golden shield is of no use to you, but you can sell it for 22. There's a statue again, right? There's a. Is that one of those guys? Oh, I'm vulnerable because of what? Oh. Oh, so, because of the so the the coffee person, Senka. Yeah, the coffee. You have to shoot the coffee. This could be dangerous if I move left. 
Are you sure? Oh. Why? Is it because of the enemy that's there? Or... Oh, is the sunlight? Am I a vampire right now? Are you? I'm very confused about how a vampirism works in this game. Well, I, I guess because I'm vulnerable, if I step into the sunlight, I'm in trouble. I don't know. Is that it's just like vamp? Vamp. When this bar is full, you transform into. Yeah, you're not a vampire. So am I like a little bit of a vampire then? Like maybe one fifth of a vampire. I think it might just be because, be because there's an enemy there. No, I think it's. I was just stepping to the left, but there was nothing there. But the enemy was there too. I mean, like, could attack you from there. There, I killed the Sanka. Try moving into the light. That's what's dangerous. How? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit, a little bit vampire. Ryan said, wouldn't nothing hurt a vampire but a wooden stake and sunlight? Oh, is it because, so it said you become a little bit vulnerable to all elements? Probably so. So that means you're vulnerable yeah. to sunlight. Got a bronze shield because it's better than what I have now. Breaking statues for no reason. I'm going to leave this grandfather clock. Time crystal? What is that? Uh, what? Now I'm unstable because I... And smack the time crystal. Using time warping or space altering magic while unstable can be quite dangerous. Okay. I don't want to time warp or use space altering magic. Frozen movement. Hmm? Frozen movement. That too. Inexplicably, this moment in time has been frozen. What? Wait, so am I in a time warp or something? Everything else is frozen? I think that maybe just that I can't use something again because I'm already in a weird time frozen state. It's warning me not to mess with time any further or something like that. Okay, uh, now what's up? Kill the bee while it can't. I can't go into sunlight. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can now. You look, looks like you're fine now. And now time is back. Time is back. There's a potion there. Remar, select spell to learn. Levitate? Blink. So levitate is what you would think. Blink is a teleport. Teleports the caster to a nearby location. Causes magical instability or cleanse. Removes one or more positive or negative status effects. Hmm. Which one? If you were a vampire, blink could be nice. Yeah, you could go past the rays of sunlight, perhaps. Cleanse could be good if you ever get. I'll go with blink. Get something annoying. Well, they could all be good. Oh, I got poison apparently. Like now, it could be good. I do have a. Don't I have a cure poison thing. Should I use it? Make it. Uh, one of these. One of these could be, yeah, that one. Oh, it could be. Could be an antidote or a big. Antidote. Or you could get big. Let's try it. And you. It works. Back. Poison resistance. And you gain health. And you gain health. What's oh, so it's a python. It's a field sneak. python. Sneak. Spider. Baby spider. Oh, no, not a baby spider. <laughs> it stuns me though. And we have a little goblin who looks more, more like an imp or a demon or something. There's a potion up there. In the top right. Mm, a pungent potion. Mmm, I can smell it from here. That's how you know. It's a pungent. This could be a clarity potion or moves mind altering effects. Blood, which is good for vampires, and turns humans into vampires. So if you drink blood, you become a vampire. Yeah, apparently. Or a lizard leg. <laughs> <laughs> a potion of how? lizard. How is that? How do you not notice that? Oh, it scales to grow on those who drink it, providing additional resistances. That's a good thing. Oh, you're speak. not drinking a lizard leg. Maybe you are. What is this? Staircase to the menagerie. It's gonna take us into that episode of Star Trek. The menagerie. This is a potion. Aromatic. We have pungent and aromatic. We actually have two pungent. Gluggy. Can we drink one of the pungent? Well, I don't yeah. know if I want to drink well, blood, though. Well, yeah, like, you could become a vampire. Is that bad, though? I don't, I don't know. It's not... I don't know if you want to. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really have a good sense of when I'd want to be a vampire or not yet. Because wouldn't humans attack you? Probably. And you haven't run into any vampires yet. Your vampire meter is going up. I guess I'm just going to turn to a vampire fully over time anyway, right? Transylvania. Is that the game you just played, Stu? Transylvania. You feel more dexterous. Woohoo, dexterity. Should we go into the menagerie? 
Is it like NetHack how you can just gain stats sometimes? I don't know. It's every game like NetHack? Every game is like NetHack, yeah. Okay, I'm going deeper. I just got an achievement. We're going into the menagerie. Stu says you need like remove curse or something. What, to get rid of the vampirism? Yeah. Yeah. But it might not necessarily be bad. I don't know. I don't think it's... I don't know. Maybe I need to like chew on a cross for a while or something. Or drink holy water. Don't you, or don't you have holy water? Uh, do I? Yeah, you have. That's holy water, the cross. The cross. Holy water, oh yeah. Heals humans for a large amount. Oh, interesting, but will hurt those vulnerable to water. Not vulnerable, vulnerable to holy water. It doesn't mention that it'll hurt a vampire, but you think it would? Well, those could be vulnerable to water. I think it would be like instant death for a vampire to just, just chug it. It would be like if you or I drank like some some uh, nasty acid or something. You can always retreat back downstairs if needed. Sometimes it is safer to come back up through a different staircase. Okay. Okay. Leveled up killing the tiger. Uh, intelligence maybe? Because you got a spell. It wouldn't hurt to have some brains. Read a book. Why do I cast spells by the Oh, down here in Blink. Yeah, one. And what does that cost me? I get the mana, which probably... A six, I think. It's it. Yeah, it probably uh, regenerates. I'm not sure. Oh, and it said vampires can't use magic. I can't? It said not usable by ma vampires. Is when you specific steps? When or? you hovered over the mana. Oh. Huh, interesting. Okay. So, that would be kind of useless for vampires, then. I wonder if kind of... You know, your typical vampire abilities, would they be considered something besides magic? Because you would think that they would have, like, you know, all kinds of mind control and, you know, things that spell that cause shadows, and transform into a bat, all kinds of things like that. Poison Toad, oh, it's Toad from Mario. Okay, we better shoot him on sight. Take that Toad. I'm the best! I'm shooting Toad. I don't know why I'm wasting bullets on Toad. He's hopping away anyway. You can jump. It's a polar bear. <laughs> what? Are you suddenly You're in like garden? in a zoo. Oh yeah, we're in the menagerie, so I guess they have a really icy area right here. He's licking me, this toad. Yeah. Don't lick the toad now. Hey, where's this tiger? These toes, toads are fast. Okay, we killed the tiger and it left a pile of gold as tigers do. Our toad just sticks its tongue out. Oh, it's the best! For some reason, whenever I play Mario Kart, I always want to be Toad. It's because Toad's the best. Toad's the best. What is hitting me? Is Poison the Toad. The Poison Toad's licking me, okay. I'm gonna shoot him. I don't know, it takes too many bullets though. And I'm tempted to sh I can blink towards him, watch this. It's probably not worth oh, yeah, it. you should use that. Try it anyway. Oh, you cannot move less than the, the number of spaces. You can only like, go straight. So it's one, two, what is it, three, four, five spaces? Can you only go straight? It looks like only straight and only the full number of spaces. Hmm. I'm gonna go hang out with the polar bear, maybe. Let's do that. Hi, polar bear. Oh. Unsteep. Oh, you have that me. still. I still have that? Apparently. Or did I just make it happen now? I think you just made it happen now. Hmm. Freaking toad. Hate you. You're like halfway into turning into a vampire. Yeah. Should I drink something random? Heal Not... vampire, try to see if it's Well, that one you could become a vampire. Bat potion. <laughs> Sounds like something out of Batman. You should drink, you should drink the Robin, bat. Hand me the bat potion for my You should drink though. this. Combustion potion, that's a great thing. Could we petrify? Jeez. Turn to one into. Okay, so. I... Well. Turn to a bat. I could explode or or turn into a statue. That sounds. Great. But it's called the bat potion. Bat potion. Hey, polar bear, how you doing? You don't run out of hunger as quick as I in sated. many other games. Yeah, some games are really mean about the hunger. Some, some hungry elephants. Games. Elephants are. Yeah, I, thought, I thought there was one elephant for a second. I was gonna say they're big. They're like two spaces. 
But it's actually just two of them. Here comes an annoying tiger again. Actually, the toads are mostly annoying. I'm bleeding from the tiger. Bleeding. I'm surprised you haven't been bleeding. Take that, you monkey. Any other time. It's got a potion of pee. Look at that. was demon blood. Okay. What does that do again? Demon blood grants vampires demonic abilities. Also heals vampires even if they're at full health. So it doesn't, it's not good for other people to eat, drink. I guess. Hey, the hedges are too tough. Oh, the monkey stole my demon blood. He's gonna drink that. Get back here, monkey. Give me my crap. Why are monkeys always stealing things in games? Because they're evil. I guess monkeys actually do that. What happened? Something nearby died, and the gates just disappeared. It's totally annoying me. And the, um, I thought the hedges disappeared, but they just do that when you can't see them. 17 damage to the invisible toad. It wasn't really invisible. Why? It's hurting me. Something deals 10 to you. I'm getting pretty low. I don't like that. Something deals 10 damage to you? That's a lot. Something deals 4. Is it toad? I think it might be something in the darkness. I think so. It's potent. Right, I gotta get healed. Should I drink the holy water? Heals humans for a large amount. Hmm, let's try it, I guess. Ah, much better. Wow, it's spectacle. Freaking tongues Where's he going? Heck yeah. oh. Their tongues glow in the dark. Shoot the damn toad. Die. Take that, you freaking toad. He's turned into a pile of gold. Yeah, I know this dude. I, I would think the... If I'm really, like... Partial vampire, or in the process of turning into a vampire, I would think the holy water would not be a good I thing. I think it do. should, like, lower your vampire... Vampirism bar. Uh, that's one way it could work, yeah. Ah, oh, go to light. Turning on the lights is important. Tiger again. <laughs> Okay, yeah, leveled up. Let's go to strength again. I'll just cycle through them since I don't really have any particular strategy. Strength seems like a good idea. I mean, I'll cycle strength, dex, yeah. uh, intelligence, something like that. Stop poisoning me. They just keep the animals in by having hedges. It doesn't work for oh. toads. The toads jump over. I really don't like these toads. I know I've said that about 18 times. They just jump away. And attack you from a range. I think. There's so many of them, too. I feel like I'm gonna get killed really soon. Do I have an anti toad potion? Mmm, curry and unity. Funny that the tiger is. Are easier to deal with than the toads. Okay, uh, I'm still pointing for six more turns. With rest. You wait one turn because the enemy nearby. Okay. Status expired. It's the full moon for what that's worth. I'm sure, it affects something in this game, like a werewolf or something. Turn into a vampire faster? I don't know. It's a blink toad. Teleport behind him. Yeah. Would he like block me? I guess probably not. Or would, would, if I go to the hedge, would that cause a problem? Let's try it. Unstable? Unstable. Are you, I think, you, are you bad at casting it or I, something? Well, it could be because I went into a hedge. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, it could be there's a kind of a success roll that needs to be made. You're about to turn into a vampire. Yeah, that should be interesting. Mm. Sweet. Oh, oh. What happened? I fell into a pit. Oh no, it's like ET all over again. Fall into a pit. Falling deals 13 damage to you. Dampness deals 1 damage. Ice to the poison toad. Okay. Dampness. Something deals. Three damage poison to you, great. 
So I'm in the ice in a pit. I don't know how to get out. Uh, it's a weird hotel. Yeah, it's one strange hotel, huh? In the icy water. Polar bear to deal with now. Uh oh. <laughs> Dampness deals one thing. What? I think it's because it's wet. It, I, I, it, it gets hurt. because it's wet. It gets hurt by the cold. Polar bears. I don't know. We get shouldn't, hurt by cold water. Come on. <laughs> polar bears be fine with that? Aren't they adapted? Let's go to the wooden space. At the floor. It's a potion. I think. I just wrecked that. Um. Cold water. I thought it was a polar bear, but it said something like I didn't know what it was. It was probably in the dark. The ale. Let's drink some ale and feel better. Ah, uh, much better. Does that heal you? I think it gave me one. It should rest. It's rest, yeah. Actually, it might not have healed me. That might have been just natural time passing healing me kind of a thing. Well, you're healed now. I might have stuffed because that ale was very, very uh, fizzy. It's very bubbly. Yeah, very you filled. were you were sated. And now you're stuffed. And Stu says, Rob, Bob, run. And I'm about to turn into a vampire, I guess. <laughs> All right. What is going on with this guy? It's like this guy just sitting there chilling, literally. It's uh -huh. like 3 a.m. in the game. 3 a.m. in the game. It's a full moon. Are you, oh, who's this guy? What? The ice, ice golem. golem. I don't like him. He looks strong. Let's shoot him. You don't even have to, like, sleep or anything. It's a quite a bit of health still after shooting him. Heals. One ice nice. grants one health to the ice golem. Uh oh. He heals in the ice. So let's, um. I don't know what to do. I could lure him over here, maybe. I don't know if that's going to help. You could but... run. It's faster than me, and it's bad. Oh. You could punch him. Shoot him one more time. Well, did 11 damage. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> 32 damage. The game I, is telling I had a bad feeling about that ice goal. The game is telling you to unlock a disguise. Unlock a disguise, I'm the disguise. Sure. Maybe it's saying okay. you can, or maybe you did. Let's listen to the music for a moment. <laughs> okay, uh... Quick restart officer dismiss. So you should see the new disguise you got. The ice golem is dancing over my dead <laughs> body. Dancing to that music. Alright. What was the menu? Disguise menu? Where is this disguise menu? I don't I think, see one. I think it's just when you start a new game. Yeah, probably. Or character sheet? No. Okay, that was our first playthrough of... Golden Crone Hotel. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, quite honestly. Who does? Now, do you think this this theme song, for those who joined recently, does it remind you of the monsters a little bit? You think they're going for that stylistically? You could play Hades sometime. I just realized you had that. I saw it. What's that? I saw you had Hades, and you could play that sometime. On a stream. Uh, yeah. Stu says you suck, Mark. Thank you, Stu, for the constructive feedback. <laughs> you suck at this game that you've never played before. <laughs> yeah, it does remind me of the monster. All right, what's the morgue? Am I dead in the morgue? Yeah, yes. uh, it's basically like the, the, the net hack style. Uh, high scoreless, killed by an ice golem in the ice house. It gives you, it saves all the info about your character in case you want to look it up later. Starring Ivan De Carlo, Butch Factory. <laughs> you have all the, I mean, like the whole intro memorized or something. Do you remember the new monsters in like I think the late '80s or so? That was so bad. All right, you so know, we can play as officers. Can unlock still. someone. So we can unlock someone. Yeah. How do we do that? You become a. What's the dice thing? Random one. Pick a random one, I guess. Probably, but it should like tell you what it means when you mouse over it. Um, who should you pick? All right, so who should I unlock? I guess I can click one of these. You could unlock an ice mage. Or an alchemist. I don't know what's new friendly. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to just go like to the next one, which is, I guess, assassin. If 
if that's even what I can do. Yeah, I can hit unlock here. You should see what they have. Please stop kicking my chair. Um, officer, what was plus one strength, minus one int. Potion, strength, boots, holy water, equipment, better gear. Assassin is strength, minus one, deck, plus one. Potions, invisibility, and an unholy essence. Spell, haste, special. Bonus dexterity or hit or invisible. Okay, this is the kind of thing that I'm going to, like, you know, boggle my own mind if I go through every one and try to remember what's what. This one, interestingly, only has, um, it has, like, a 15 penalty to hit points. Vagabond. Altist scholar. Scholar starts with curry. Oh, I gotta pick him then. Anybody who starts with curry is my kind of guy. He's also smarter but weak. I'm gonna go with assassin because it's the second one. Okay. They've unlocked assassin. Looks evil. Let's be an assassin. So I guess it's just the character class is to be. They call it a disguise, but. Anyone can turn into a vampire, but do you lose your your disguise at that point? Oh, you know. start out as a vampire. The assassin. Okay. Yeah, I'm a vampire. Can you become not a vampire? I don't know. Potions. We have invisibility and unholy essence. This one is a potent magical elixir that, for a short time, largely nullifies the effect of nearby light. Oh, that's interesting. You came here for a reason. You're not going to leave now. I can't go to the left, what, in other words, because that's the entryway. What reason? I don't know. <laughs> I'm killing blocks of ice for fun and profit. Here comes a bat. Oh. Cancel. Did you press go to the right? Yes. Okay. That makes sense. That's dangerous, too. Okay. Well, going into the water. Where can I go then? I think you should. No one's stopping you. I bet. Or yeah, you could just destroy the wall. I want the copper plate leggings. Better than what you have. Red Gwyn as Herman Munster. Stu can't remember the girl thing. He remembers most of them though. I gotta say, I don't think I knew any of the actors from the monster. What's going on? Somehow these, the way the map is drawn confuses me some. There we go. Yeah, I don't like how it's just squares. I think Crypt of the Necro Dancer does the same thing. I don't mind squares, but sometimes I, 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 I don't think I am where I am. <laughs> yeah. Bubbling Potion. This is something I've never seen in a roguelike, and I've played a lot of roguelikes. It's that Every unidentified potion has three or sometimes two possibilities of what it could be instead of just being, it could be anything that you haven't identified already. So that's kind of interesting. Acceleration, potion, combustion, or honey. Mm. Acceleration causes time to progress faster relative to your movement. Wouldn't that make you go slower? Uh, actually, I'll just says, for example, statuses expire faster. So is that it might mean there's many effects that stem from that, but one of them is statuses expire faster. Strange. You you're, you age faster. Yeah, I get hungry faster. All right. So, oh, uh, pardon me, I'm getting my phone out of my pocket. You ever have your phone in your pocket for too long and it just feels annoying somehow? Like, you just want to get it out of the way. Alright, that's what I just did. Yeah, I took mine out earlier. It's interesting that I'm in like, it looks like a, I know it's a roguelike, so it's random levels, but it looks like I'm in a total, totally different place as this character. It's like you're in like a church. It could just be the randomization. Or as they say, procedural generation. It looks like my brother. Hello, brother. Die, 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 die. That's the fancy term. Bloody mess, bloody noses, what? Uh, Sweet as cherries. Generation. Hmm? I said that's a fancy term. Ah, yes. Sweet as cherries, red as roses. Bloody fingers, bloody toes. From bites and cuts, it flows, it flows. You wrote a poem. This poem blows. I have seen it all. I survived the hungers. All three sanguine wars. All three sanguine wars. It's Uncle Fest. <laughs> he said it's Uncle Fester, yeah. Now we're into Adam's, Adam's family territory. You think the last one was bad? Ended in a blink. Did he survive? Because isn't he an undead person? Hmm. 
Maybe he was undead before the war, so it, he didn't really, like, die. I don't know. Who are men to talk of wisdom when they have centuries of it? Oh, shut up. I don't believe you. Where's Nandor? And Laszlo? And Nadja? And Colin Robinson. Okay, uh... Did I miss something obvious of where to go? I guess the stairs up. There's two stairs up. And there's a door down here. Aromatic. Teleport, which is a random location on the floor. Recall, which is teleport you to the maelstrom, which I still don't know what that means. And Lizard Lake. You should be a scaly and heavily armored. Hello, friend. The mercenaries fend. The marauders raid. The hunters seek. The Salamanari conjure. Okay, bro. You look well off. Surely you can loan me a few hundred gold. No, I have I 28. You have 28 gold? I have 28, you fool. I assure you my creditors are all satisfied customers. At least he's not actually asking for gold. It's just dialogue. Oh, there's some sunlight. I don't go in there. How is it? I guess it's morning. Time goes fast. It is 8, 8 a.m. in this game right now. Every step That's that you take is because... 5 or 4 minutes. And now it's like I can't really go up these stairs if I wanted to because of the sunlight. Go down that one. Take or this one. Down. That could be dangerous? It could it's be. warning me. I don't it's know probably why. Fine. Is it because... Sunlight, maybe? Yeah, there's sunlight at the top of the stairs. I wish it would be a little clearer. Like, maybe I'm going up the stairs and I see sunlight. But, um, I don't know. Well, then you go down the stairs. Hmm? I guess then you can go down the stairs. Yeah, but I'll get damaged probably heavily. Yeah. I don't know. I can always wait, but it's only like 8.48 a.m. Yeah, each step is four minutes. It goes really fast. And now I'm actually kind of surrounded by the sunlight. I think you should just go up. Go up? Alright, let's try There's it. nowhere else you can go. I can wait around a long time. Alright, I'm gonna try it. I think it's probably fine. Oh. Well, what? <laughs> Why is it giving me that warning? Though? There's a person down there. I think uh, there, it, 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 there could be sunlight. Yeah, there could be. That's probably all it is. It's like, you don't know what's up there, there could be sunlight. Whoa! Oh, he cast a spell. Okay. Cast ice at me. I don't know why I wasn't expecting this one to kill me. <laughs> because, because, because before they were friendly, but I was human then, so I should have known better. Uh, all right. I don't know. I don't have any gun or anything. What do I? Just charge her, I guess. I think it's her. Charge them. I will drink the blood. Thirteen. You slurp up the delicious blood. Well, you're dead. You left me money and blood. Delicious. Now where do you go? Um. <laughs> Can go you? this way. Perhaps. I don't think there's anything there. You though. wait up there hmm. for the sunlight to pass. Whoa. Nah. Oh. So the angle of the sunlight changes yeah. according to the time, too. I didn't notice that. I've seen that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you have to go through it. I guess. You should have waited up there. Well, I could use this. I didn't really realize it was going to change angle. Uh, I could do this one, Unholy Essence. Largely nullify the effect of nearby light. I guess. Alright, let's do it. Let's see how it works. Unholy Aura. Darkness. Covers the landscape. That's cool. short, but it worked. So I, I touched the book and it says you struggle to sound out the first few words, might as well save it for later. Probably not very smart. Yeah, it must be my lack of intelligence or something. Same thing, struggle out, struggle to sound out the first few words, might as well save it for later. So, am I carrying it then? Yeah, you're, you're Here we go, carrying. you're carrying three books. Let's try to read them. You can read, oh, only when you turn back into human form. That's right, I guess. Yeah, okay. okay. So you can't even learn the spells. Vampires can't even read. Yeah, they learn their. They somehow lose their uh, literacy. All that, you know. I don't know the blood. The 
something about the blood in the eyes or something. I don't know. I got nothing. Blood in, they don't have blood. Fortune of bounty. Create the wealth out of thin air. Spider. Those potions could ruin an economy. <laughs> Level up. I thought that screen was like saying you died or something. Crossed my mind. I think I'm about to die actually. Uh The amount of health that your health bar like shows is it proportional to the amount isn't proportional to like the actual amount you have. Right, because I only have ten percent of my health and this looks like more like a quarter. Yeah, let's see if I can step away a bit. Oh, I guess not. Oh, I'm dead. No, you're dead. That sucks. I guess that happens a lot in this game. <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So, don't forget to rest between fights with space. Maybe I should do that more. A resolve revolver is a powerful weapon. Fire. Oh, you have a revolver. Yes, it didn't show it short at the bottom though. Maybe because I didn't have bullets. Maybe. Okay, let's try assassin again. He's still a vampire, I guess. I guess. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you're definitely like really different environments every hmm. time. You're like in yes. a. I don't know what this is. Like a warehouse or something. Yeah. <laughs> or some kind of storeroom. Okay, I don't have any money, so I can't. Hundred twenty-three dollars for ale. It's some expensive beer. Too expensive. I will smash random crates. It could be something inside the crate, maybe. I feel like probably not somehow. Yeah. Because <laughs> nothing's happening. Anything inside. This, this guy's, guy's following, following me. Around, like, hey, don't do that. He wants. He really wants you to buy something. Mm. But you can't. I'm like linked to smashing everything. You're practicing your swords skills. Does anybody else see when sometimes? The damage dealt at an exclamation point after that. I feel like it's a factorial. I think it's just like a crit. But. <laughs> if, you if you were dealing 38 factorial damage. <laughs> that would be a lot, yes. Alright, delicious blood on the floor. Yeah, I have some spell books for later, or one spell book for later. Aromatic, we have Nostrum. Kills you at the cost of a temporary vulnerability to the elements. Interesting. Holy Water and Soul Elixir. What's good. Soul Elixir again? Temporarily transforms Become a human. into humans. So you can learn a spell while you're a human. Golden Shield, better than what I have. Maybe even cast one. And there's Delicious Bed. Drink the blood of the bed. Bed blood. Bats are a little bit annoying. It's morning now, so sunlight. Yes. I was actually scared to step in front of this one for a sec, but then I saw no sunlight through it. There's like an actual angle that it comes from the. On the stanza it says. Say what you will about Fane, but he saved us. Don't know who that is. From obscurity, from weakness, from lowness. There's like an angle that the sun is, though. Hmm? There's an angle that the sun is at from that changes. Let's do it. What's danger? Oh, going up. Yeah, I guess it always gives that warning if there's any sunlight at all. I if it's day. If it's day, basically. Uh, oh, vampires can't shoot guns. Can't even hold them, really. Why? Because their hands are... monkey paws or something? The monkey told us. We have, like, wolf paws? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's an awful scar on your neck. Thank you. There's a famous human with a scar like that. A famous human with a scar. Who? Proceeded at the uh, hands of Fane himself. I thought that was, like, a reference to real life. Well, that's what they say, at least. Hey, human, bring it on. There's two of you. 
Where did this guy come from, anyway? They're just gonna ignore each other. You gonna fight me or what? Oh. Cast Firestorm and I cast Fight his face off. Get the other blood before it goes away. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Too late. Too late, you're right. Now you're poisoned. Cloudy potion. Looks very bloody to me. You could either be blinding, health, or clarity. And I'm a little bit poisoned. When you. What was that? Spell that you cast it was a spell earlier. The spy of the potions. What? The unholy essence, I think. Yeah, it's a potion. Oh, the potion. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was like a spell or something. No, this whole section here is potions. Yeah. Okay. Hello, friends. And bats. That's almost like the toad, the way it zips around, but not quite as bad. Level up. Sure, strength is good. Blood is good. Uh, let's not jump into the pit. That could be dangerous. A little bit. We know that from E.T. I'm just gonna keep making that jump. <laughs> Okay, Sandu says, you'd be surprised at how many prominent humans were born vampires. Things were a lot simpler before soul elixirs came along. Huh. What's the world coming to these days? My father was a vampire. His father was a vampire. And the kids these days are trying to be humans with their fancy soul elixirs. They're, they're like being transhumans. So what if you don't know what a potion does? I say drink it down. I, I agree. That's usually what I do in roguelikes. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is that it's poison and you die. Merciful Fane. From his enemies, he takes organs. They really like this Fane guy. From his servants, he takes hands. From his lovers, he leaves only a scar. Sort of brand, I guess. I like to walk up to people and say, This guy I know likes to take organs. I guess the Fane is the ma Fane is like the master vampire or something. You know, He's like a leader. Hey, these Sankas. You can't shoot them. You can't even hit them. It's so annoying. And I can't shoot. Throw a potion at them. What if you have them like cornered? Then can you can you melee them? <clears throat> can they die in the light? I'm guessing probably not. I can just run away. It's this. All right, better leggings. Do you sell your old stuff? I got you cornered and killed you. Ah, uh, do you sell your old stuff? Like when you upgrade? Like when you upgrade? I don't know. Maybe you, know you sell your other stuff? You, you would think it would say like you're, you know, you sell the other thing for 12 gold or whatever. Yeah. Or it's not say that. He lightning to me. All these Gave humans a use a lot of spells. Yeah, they're very uh, wizardly. <laughs> Gold. I could explore to the east. Get out of the way. Bell book I can't use. You should learn how to read. I have to be a human. See, I got blood red eyes. That's the yeah. Your eyes are too red. Milky potion. If it's milky, why is it orange? I have two of those. Maybe I'll try one of those when I'm in a jam. Well, it could give me lizard leg, which would be like armor, sort of, or resistance in any way. Or it could or give it could you a bunch, me. give you a bunch of money. Or money, you... which yeah, wouldn't help in a jam, but it would be not negative at least. So save those. Hmm. Also, when you drink one, I think you'll know what the other one does. Yes. All in all, I can't complain. Sure, it's swarming with snakes and rats. But when you haven't had a drop to drink in days, you'll be grateful. What? I don't know what he's talking. Swar like this whole area, I guess? I guess if he wants to, if you want to drink snake blood. Snake blood. I'm thinking, like, other, like, vampires usually can't, I think, uh, I thought they could only drink, like, human blood. 
It's a turn of select because people are bothering me. I thought humans usually only drank, or vampires only drank human blood. But not in this game. Yeah, you can drink any, any blood apparently. Okay, the sun is going clockwise. <laughs> it's like a 90 degree angle. Stop picking my chair, please. Meeting it. Let's go up. Okay, we've got a dork here. Ah, I'm burning. He's like burning! Ah, I'm on fire. Stop it. Okay, let's use something. Drink ale. Drink beer. What was the one I wanted to try in a jam? Uh, one? milk. It's it a blood, blood delicious. Good. Nice. We're almost done burning. I'm almost extinguished. I'm almost like, you know, burnt alive. Okay, let's get the blood. Now you're just poisoned. My blood goes away fast. You have like, I think, three turns. Maybe only two. Stu says in Vampire the Masquerade, they can drink other blood, but it tastes bad and eventually makes them sick. Mm. I'm attacking it. I thought I want to open it. Am I like doing it wrong with every time I find like a crater? Is it chest, e? Is there what? E. There's no E option right now. It mm. should show up here, but I'll press it anyway to try it. Doesn't do anything. Maybe you just hit the chest. Uh, there's a light right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> the light's gonna rotate. Should go down stairs where the light blocks you in there. Well, this one should rotate along with it, right? Yeah, but where are you gonna? I mean, I guess you can go to the right. Yeah, I didn't see the. There's a place you can go there. Oh, I've been iced. Iced, iced. This must be vanilla ice. Maybe you just have to beat the crap out of this chest and then you get the stuff, but it takes a lot of hits. Look at that. Strong chest. I don't see a sliver of red on the, on the life meter here. Did you play Vampire the Masquerade, Stu? Like the, the RPG? My brother used to be in stat. I never played it myself, though. You... Here, this page has been added to the books and the letters menu. Okay. If you go up, you should be able to get around that light. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, what's the books and letters, man? Here we go. Oh, I have two of them. It's a... Ten... What? Yeah, I guess because I'm a vampire. I cannot read it all. <laughs> Interesting. Laura Mipsum. You should make these in English. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's just probably just walk through. Can I block the window with them? If you could go, if you turned on diagonal cheating mode, you could just, just go through it. <laughs> Can I do that on the fly? Let's see. Yeah, Grognard. Ta-da! <laughs> now I can do it. I don't really feel like plugging in my keypad right now. I'll do that when I play Meta. Just press the 7 key. No, it has to be numpad 7. Wow. It says, oh, actually 7 might work, yeah. It says because spells are mapped to 1 to 4 numpad movement only works with num lock off. No, no, it probably wouldn't work then. Let's see what happens. Maybe I won't die. There's something I can throw in the way or something like that? I think you can probably just walk through it. I mean, I'll probably take, you take damage, damage. For, one, for one turn, yeah. I think it'll probably be like a what lot of damage. It? Okay, it's 224. So it's, it's gonna. gonna it's not it's going away anytime soon. It's not gonna soon. be nighttime anytime soon, yeah. What is it, like about four yeah. minutes per move, we said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I can just try it. Maybe it won't actually reach me down here. Oh, yeah. Can you wait? I like it's too close to your liking. Too bad. So it says when I wait. When I rest it. There it goes. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. I guess it's just pointing that way. It's like it's summer. Right. Wait, it's evening at 316? Yeah. It's good evening. Okay. That's... I'll take it. <laughs> it's really early. It's for the sun to set. Alright. 
to mention. That's right, there are a couple of PC games based on Vampire. I never played them. Okay, level up. Let's take Dex. Yeah, I don't think uh, intelligence very is very useful right now. Drink blood off the floor to heal. I don't need that. Tip. You already figured that up. That one out. Wait, it's not. I don't understand the sunlight at all. It's like it's coming from a different okay, angle now. Okay, yeah, I guess it just okay. I guess it could make sense. So it looks like there's a box, and that shows which direction it's coming from. So it's coming from the left right now. A box? Oh, next to where? It's next to where? Even, evening. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sort of. Could go down oh, or up. Come here, lady. Mercenary diary. The blood is burning. I don't think it was burning. No, that was just on the space. Oh, it was on the torch. Space space the torch. Should try to punch the chest. It'd be nice if we could like push a bed in front of the window or something like that. Just... Could hide behind it, hide underneath the bed. Oh, anyway, the the layout of this level makes it really difficult with the sunlight. Uh, wait, Did it get hurt? No. Oh, it's moonlight. It's... Oh, okay. Okay. Moonlight doesn't bother you. Get this thing. I hate bullets. Right. After my hunger, I am neutral hunger-wise, I think. Copper shield is no use to me, so I get 33 gold. Still full moon, so there's some moonlight. This is definitely an interesting, interesting mechanic with the, the light. Not something I've seen before. It's weird how light can only pass through, like, the cracked open well, stained yeah. glass. Maybe because the stained glass filters it too much. Yeah. Okay, I could buy some bullets. Those are good. Could buy bullets or a potion. Random, random potion. You can't even use a revolver. <laughs> when I'm human, I can. Well, you're not human. I don't seem to ever transform much, though. Uh, I don't know. Potion? Which ones don't I have? Bubble, I have bubbling, cloudy, aromatic. I could try effervescent. See which ones are like good. Yeah, effervescent could be strength, poison, or acceleration. I don't know about that. Grimoire is a spell, right? Oh, I think it's a potion, right? I don't know. Aromatic. Another aromatic might not be bad. Maybe I should find out what it is first. Well, this is one where it's basically good in any case. I guess I'll take one. Mm. I don't know. What's cloudy again? Could be blinding or health or clarity. Sure, I'll take one. Out of money. I keep an eye on the. Time here, so it's 11:24 p.m. So we're good for a while. Doesn't seem like that latent time really matters when you're human. Probably not. Fane once sought a human bride. He hasn't cared much for companionship since then. There's a potion. Uh, cloudy, cloudy. We got three clouds. Should we try one? All right. I'm gonna try one. The worst case is <laughs> worst case would be blind temporarily. Cool, it was health. health that yeah. that's always good. Pretty much any game, <laughs> the health potion is a good thing to have. Who's this guy? He looks like the the enemy of Sonic the Hedgehog. You know the uh the Eggman, whatever his name is, Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, he's Doctor Robotnik. That would be bad if that was sunlight right there. Yeah. Then Dr. Robotnik would not be standing in. In the human cities, he's known as the... Uh, do these guys ever talk about anything but their master, Fane? Oh, Fane! Fane likes to put ketchup on his hot dogs! <laughs> Fane is the best man ever! His favorite topping is ketchup. He puts ketchup on his 
his victims as well to get some extra flavor when he's biting their necks. And eating their organs. He makes hot dogs out of their organs, in fact. In the human cities, he's known as the Exiled Vampire Prince. He has a different moniker here. Let me guess. Oh, the organ collector? Yeah, that's for his hot dogs. Do I need to explain it? He likes instruments. Yeah, he likes... There was an organ on one of the levels. Is that? Oh, this thing. Do we even want this at the time? I don't know how that's very good. I think if I'm, if I'm being attacked by a lot of nasty stuff, it's worthwhile, probably. Well, you're not right now. Well, I might be about to be. Not not many nasty stuff, but a couple of wimps. <laughs> a wolf. Let's just do it. I don't know. It's there. Yeah, you can kill them all. Well, time is frozen. With the key, that's interesting. Hey, it is about to turn morning. It's 4.30 a.m. Actually, I don't know when morning is, but that... Morning's probably like 5. All right, to be on the safe side, it could be... You know, I should expect should it sometime very soon. Go up. So I got a key, and it made a sound that sounded like... Uh, like Zelda or something. Not Zelda. Some game from that era. Mm, yeah. Let's go up the stairs. I don't know. Oh, this is a good place. It's dark. You found the entrance to the baths. We're in the bathhouse now. Take a bath. Take a bath with the snake. It's morning now. Okay, Six hopefully we have no windows, or at least fewer windows, hopefully. What do A master key. For the master lock. Or it just opens everything. Got some bullets. I gotta say, I don't feel like I should... And I maybe have to level up more, but I don't... I feel like as a vampire, I should have all these fancy abilities. But they, like, don't let you use magic. I feel like you should be able to use magic, and humans shouldn't. Yeah, if anything, maybe. But I'm wondering if they're just some kind of separate set of abilities. That's kind of like magic, but not. Yeah, let's do intelligence. There's a turn count. Uh-oh. Oh, oh Steel golem or something. Lapis golem. Is it made from lapis? Like pencils. Lapis. A gun that I can't use right now. Oh, another pencil golem. Well, I got some beer, that's what's important. I gotta get these guys in a choke point so that I don't have to fight them surrounded. But these guys, these Samkas, they're annoying. You have to back them in a corner. Let's see if I can pull that off. Or not even a corner, but they have to be up against the wall. Just go up and wait, or down and wait. Then he, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. Oh, down, attack me there. down more, and then up. Push him up. Push him up. There we go. A solid strategy. I am vulnerable still, so let's try to avoid a fight. With a sank of coffee, turn me vulnerable. Okay, drink some blood. Yummy, yummy. At least healing is pretty easy. Yeah, I'm ready to fight the lapis golem. Here he is. Healing's pretty easy as a vampire. True. I don't think golems have blood though. Also true. Okay, he did 10 damage when he actually hit. That wasn't too bad. There's two of them though. He did think. have no blood, yeah. I'm tempted to try a random potion, but I don't know. You could drink no strum. Or holy water or. Soul elixir. I don't, it doesn't mention any negative effects for a vampire drinking holy water, but I can't imagine there wouldn't be. Are you considered vulnerable to water? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe, probably... That would be a weird way to... Maybe that would just be like... Some fire guy. Yeah, like, like a, a fire, fire elemental. I got a better gun, but I can't use it. Okay, so we do have open stained glass windows here. Well, it's night right now. Right. Something to be aware of, though. Got better golden breastplate. Aromatic potion, another one. Milky potion. Did I identify Milky or that last game? I guess it was last game. Okay. 
to drink the milky potion or some potion. Mm -hmm. Or I'll try one aromatic one. Here we go. Okay. Hey, oh, you're a human. I am a human. <laughs> okay, it's like the spell to learn. Oops. I guess I was waiting with the grimoires. The soul elixir. Yeah, with the soul elixir potion. Okay, so we're a human. Uh, firestorm. Ice or focus. I think we saw some enemy humans using firestorm. Yes, Stu says, gotta run, guys. Have fun storming the hotel. I will. I'm enjoying this game so far, and I hope you have a good stream, Stu, if that's what you're doing. See you later. All right, so what do we want? Firestorm, ice, or focus? Focus is focus is the light at your current location into something else. Like where you're or standing? Or you just get more mana. Uh, I guess your current location. So you can probably move the light over there and burn up a vampire. Hmm. Well, I think that sounds less generally useful. Like it would be more situational. Yeah. I'm thinking firestorm or ice. We'll just do firestorm. Well, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about light when you're a human. I mean, for now. Right, yeah. the point is you would damage somebody Yeah, you would else damage a vampire. You can't even cast a spell as a vampire, right? So you wouldn't use it defensively. Yeah. Alright, let's do Firestorm. Oh, can identify a potion from the next uh, Grimoire thing. Ah, uh, which one do I want to identify? I don't know. What's like has good possibilities? Probably the best thing would be something that has a, a good possibility and a really bad one, so I don't want to actually try yeah. it, right? I don't know what that would be, actually. <laughs> Maybe this one. This one, because you can yeah. get poisoned, but you could also get a strength boost. Let's do that. That happened to be volatile potion poison. All right. Next up, we can do what? I don't know. Uh, what does the cloudy potion do? That might be good to know because you have two of them. Like cloudy. Uh, yeah, blinding or clarity. Yeah, let's do that one. The blinding potion. Can you throw the blinding? Yeah, potion? I, don't, I don't. I don't think you can throw a potion in this game. I don't know why you'd want that. No, this one might actually be good because it's making a cloud around you. So if you're surrounded. You might be dealing more damage than you're taking from it, right? I'm fighting this horde of enemies. Let me drink this well, poison. It's making a big cloud. I know, but it's like you open it and imagine. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Out. But I'm just imagining you immediately drinking it. Huh. You right. should. Oh, you already read those books. Never mind. So I have a gun. I have 20 bullets. I've got a haste spell to go faster. I have firestorm to deal damage. That surrounds you. So you can, again, it's another kind of thing that's good when you're surrounded. What do you guys who are watching still think of this game, if anybody is watching? Is it interesting? Am I playing too many roguelikes? <laughs> I'm getting the hint from Stu and Ryan that I play too many roguelikes. But it is one of my favorite genres. Haste, now, honestly, I wasn't going to play this until I saw it was on sale, 75% off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, I am enjoying it. Anyway, uh, Haste, which you already have, so that would just up the level, it says. So I go from level 1 to 2, longer lasting, fast. I guess it'd be faster for longer. Quake produces an earthquake that physically damages all nearby enemies who are grounded, so nothing that's flying, probably. The damage is reduced with distance, but increased for enemies next to walls, because I guess the, the wall shake and rocks yeah, fall and stuff. Shock creates an arc of electricity that passes through enemies and deals moderate damage to anything in its path. So shock could be good. Yeah, Quake sounds funner. Could be good to have an extra level of haste, though. Hmm. But look at that. So the failure rate would go up from 4% to 13%. So that is actually a, a downside to it. it pro you probably have to keep up your intelligence upgrades t to reduce the failure rate, I would imagine. Yeah. Arturo says it's interesting. I kind of like it. Cool. Thanks for the feedback, Arturo. Let's go with Quake, because that just sounds fun. All right, we got a green man. The green man on the scene. I'm going toe to toe with a green man. A husk. Oh, it left a husk apparently. So, not even a actual person. Or... I like being a human because I get to cast spells and not worry about sunlight. Maybe yeah, you don't get to drink blood. <laughs> True. Pros and cons to everything, right? So I guess the way it works is you cannot choose to become a vampire generally. So you just have to wait enough time. And then you can choose when to turn back if you have the uh, soul you could, elixir. You can drink that blood potion, I guess. Oh, if is you... that? 
Oh, that turns you into a vampire. You're right. If yeah. you wanted to. So but I don't that's know how you can toggle back and forth. You can drink blood potion or soul elixir. But obviously, you have limited toggling capabilities. And you have a soul elixir, it looks like. So you could turn to a human if I still you have one. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know where you got that from. Um, I had two of that potion that was uh, unidentified at the time. Okay. And Arturo also said nothing wrong with playing roguelikes and roguelites. Thanks for the support, Arturo. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously one of my favorite genres. Even though, you know, they're not all great, but... But I thought this one was highly rated and so cheap on Steam, so I couldn't resist. And it's got some cool ideas in it so far. So I'm wondering, what's, what's, there's so many different stairs, right? Like, I've been going up generally, but I could go down. And I can go down in very, you know, various ways. I can go this stair, this one, this Like, what is the difference? They all take me to the same level, but with, like, upstairs in the same, like, you know, vicinity? I don't know. You should keep a track going down. Well, this level is less dangerous now that I am a human, at least. But I don't know if I want to be down here anyway. Oh, I'm inclined to. Oh yeah, let's go for this chest. Can I just smash? Oh, I have keys, don't I? Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, you, you open the chest. I guess because I have. Can I use a key for it? Okay. Look at all the stuff that's in here. Aromatic potion, bronze wow. breastplate. Yep. I said what? Wow. Blinding potion, copper breastplate, grimoire, iron shield. Take all. Now that I got one grimoire, I can select a spell to learn. Uh, I could get blank. Which I guess I had in a previous game. Um, Blast, which is uh, that grayed out, or is that just the graphic? I guess it's just the graphic. It's just how it looks. That's just a violent wave of air that can damage or destroy inanimate materials such as glass, wood, or stone. Hmm. So that apparently is not for damaging enemies, but for breaking through obstacles. Glaciate turns all nearby water into ice. If you find that ice area, that could be yeah, useful, that could be maybe? Yeah, for walking over the water, perhaps. And you, but so could Blink. In the water takes damage. Blink, I, it seems great, but... The, it's not that have, good. When you have, yeah, you have to go the exact distance of five And you have spaces. to go in a straight... Yeah. Yeah. So it's probably good situationally, but not as good as it sounds at first glance. Um, I don't know. I think I have a few things for fighting, right? And haste would help me fight indirectly. So I'm inclined to maybe go with Glaciate or Blast. Let's go with Blast. Destroying. Consider that it probably lets me smash stained glass. Yeah. Without using a bullet. So if there's vampires. Yeah. You could try it. Well, I don't want to waste my mind. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would work. It says it worked on glass. I just uh, glass. Anyway, that was a good um, choice to go downstairs, I guess. All the spells have, like, a number after them. Yeah, that's just so you can hit the number on the keyboard. One, two, three, four. No, but it says, like, Quake 1, Blast oh, 1. Oh, that's probably the level. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay, let's go back up to level 4. What is this here? Staircase to the baths. Uh, did I like the baths area? I don't know. I don't... Did I die in the baths before? I don't remember. Oh. Okay. You haven't been these? here. These are sirens and sharks or something. It's a Rusalka. I don't know what Rusalka is. You know they're gonna be like sirens who try to lure you to your doom or something yeah. like that. <laughs> Let's fight the shark. Oh, 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 oh no. I'm being controlled by my... <laughs> uh, the Rusalkas, and this is a harpy. I would, I would imagine. I gotta get away from these guys. They, I can't move. It makes me move in random directions when the Rusalkas char charm me. Whatever they're, whatever that thing is, it's called entrancing. Let's kill this harpy if we can. Uh, get beat up a lot. Okay, let's cast them. I could actually, um, oh, if only I took the ice thing, <laughs> I could kind yeah. of nuke, nuke them all. Uh, let's do haste first of all, perhaps. And we can take extra moves. Okay. You're just so, gonna run towards them faster. Maybe I should just do that, just charge them and kill them. Okay, they deal a good amount of damage. What's up? I'll try once more. 
Uh, maybe I should firestorm. Oh, they're in the water, though. Yeah. But it still did damage. Okay, I gotta get away. I don't know. Ah. Uh, you can't get away. Oh, no. I mean, the shark's on the other, <laughs> other area, too. I gotta get healed. Okay, let's heal. Uh, what do I have to heal? I have anything to heal. I think I have a healing potion, right? There's something that could be a healing potion? Crap, I don't healing. Last game I identified holy water. What's the yellow thing? Honey could be nuts food, actually. Arturo asks, can I drink mermaid blood? I'm, unfortunately, I don't think so. Well, you're human. Do I want to turn into a vampire? Would that help me right here? And Would that heal me? I don't know. You could drink... No, I was going to say you could drink the beer. I could quake. I don't know if being in the water counts as grounded, though. Go invisible, but they might still lure me in with their songs or whatever. Let's just think of all the options. Uh, I can turn to a vampire. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but it's it's an option. Solo elixir, that would do nothing. Invisibility might help. Clarity, that might help. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but only like. I'm not sure if it would help. That would help, but then they would just probably give you the effect again. Well, if you look in parentheses, it says delusion, confusion, uh, vulnerability, so uh, they were giving me which state was it? Uh, entranced. Entranced. So I don't know if the parenthetical yeah. list is just examples or all of the possibilities, so I'm not sure if that's useful. Unfortunately. I mean, it sounds like a mind altering effect. I don't know. It does. It definitely does. Uh, that, that parenthetical list makes me suspicious. <laughs> Alright, but that's an option. We can try that. So our options seem to be invisibility, clarity, turns to vampire. Uh, that doesn't help. Mm, that's probably a bad idea. And then that's just random guesses. This would probably not help. Mm, this could help if it happens to be holy water. And even the Nostrum option would, it would heal me. So both of these are going to heal me. It's just the Nostrum has a downside. It's healing at the cost of a temporary vulnerability to the elements. So that's probably a good one. Either one's a heal, right? Yeah. And this one would be the Lizard Leg, which would protect me. Give me additional resistances. And the potion of Bounty would basically be no effect as far as getting me saved right now. And Arturo says, would eating mermaid ceviche be considered cannibalism. Uh, <laughs> only if you eat the bottom part. If you eat the top part, it, well, if you eat the top part, it's cannibalism, yeah. But it's okay to eat the bottom part. Okay, so I'm inclined to heal myself and then do something else. So let's try that first. Okay, I healed myself. It was um, Nostrum. So that means my other resistances are lower. I don't know if that matters right now, but it did heal me quite a bit. So the question is, do I just try to tear through them now. I still think even though I'm healed, it's probably going to be like from what I've seen before, the Rusalkas are going to probably still wreck me. I could just go invisible and try to escape now and see if that works. I have this holy water too, don't I? Oh, that was the one I just identified. Okay. What do you think? Uh, I don't I think you should try to run away. I think I should run away. Let's do that. Let's go invisible and run away. I don't know if they will still try to allure me while I'm invisible. Maybe they think I'm gone. That's probably the... I'm in trance still, so I guess they're still doing it. Yeah, but they can't see you. Might be harder for them to hit me. Oh, I'm in the bleeding. Uh -oh. I'm in the water. This is bad. Oh. Which space am I even in? This one? They should just make you, like, see through. Oh, they do. But it's hard to see. Uh, I don't think it's surrounded. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to escape you. I might have to just kind of go nuts with Quake and stuff. Firestorm. Wow. Firestorm. They only did like six damage or something, maybe, because they're in the water, and they have a lot more. Ah. Uh, just You could do Clarity Potion, probably. It might be worth a try, right? I think I'm... I don't have a good chance. I'll see if it works. I don't know. 
And so they, the question is, will it turn off entranced and stop me from being entranced? Did not, okay. So I guess the parenthetical list was accurate. Literally accurate. I able, I'm suddenly able to get away a little bit, it seems like. It might not, it might not keep up, though. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't get rid of it. It just makes it do nothing. Uh, maybe. It did seem like suddenly I was able to get away at that point. I'm entranced again from all the way over here. Oh, God. What is this? Teleport potion, potion fountain. So I can drink that and teleport away randomly, probably. That's probably not good, because if you teleport, like, anywhere up there... Yeah. It's been. Well, I survived. I used a bunch of stuff. Electric eel and a harpy. I'm gonna rest a little, actually. There's an enemy nearby. Okay, so I rested. My status effects have expired. My health went up a little bit. I rested all the way to the max. All healed right. up. And I'm still hunger sated. My hunger status is still sated, so that's good. Oh, Whoa. electric eel can shoot you. Now, is it only because I was in a body of water, or could it shoot me anywhere, basically? Looks like it's only when I'm in a body of water. Let's try shooting him with a gun. Yeah, he's actually almost dead from that, so let's do another gunshot. Yeah, you're dead. Shoot the heartbeat while we're ahead. You should leave me some good stuff besides blood, though. It's like there's not the torch. Hmm? I thought that was something, but it was just a torch. Another potion fountain. A blood fountain. Interesting. So I could turn into a vampire anytime I touch this thing. And then get healed. Get healed, yeah. This is like a health like potion fountain. But this one is a wither leg fountain. I don't know. Should drink that. Maybe I should have just gone to battle after that. Let's try it. Drink. Now I have scaled. Oh, it's only a one use. But it has 29 turns. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, I have to go all the way around to fight these eels. That gives you probably electricity exist resistance, not existence. I think I am better off just shooting them from a distance. You can make some nice, uh, sushi out of them. No, don't move there. I didn't say to move there. Please stop knocking the desk. Alright, which one now? Um... Well, I might do. I don't know, what do you think? Dexterity, probably, I guess? I feel like my strength is lagging behind everything else. Mm. Oh, I, I am appreciating intelligence more now that I have a lot of spells. I'll just use strength, but I'm always going to be attacking and defending. I am hungry now, by the way. You also have skills. No, you How do don't. I actually eat again as a human? Um, uh, I have ale? beer. Is that the only thing that I can... I think there's other things. I don't know what. I just found nothing else yet? That well, made me stuffed. It's funny, it made me go from hungry to stuffed I'm, just drinking a beer. I thought it said like it only gives a little bit. Yeah, it does say that. Small amount of sustenance for humans. Maybe I have a very small stomach. What is that? Recall potion. What is recall? That brings you somewhere. Does that brings you to the maelstrom or whatever? I'm yeah. Sure I don't know what that means. I don't know what that is. You should probably not... Not go to those... Yeah. What's it called? Stop those or something? Where were they? This one? Or, no, this is probably the one with the reds on it. Yeah, the bottom... I'm gonna avoid that one for sure. One below. There's nothing down there. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna move on. Uh, what is the red guy down here, though? Is that a harpy that you didn't kill? No, harpy. I think so. Shark. Oh, shark. Sure. Just ignore it, probably. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Alright, um. I want to try the recall just so I understand what it does. I have a feeling like sure. the Maelstrom might be the start of the game or something. I don't know. Alright, uh, we could try. Let's just, yeah, we gotta, we gotta try it, right? We'll never know if we don't try it. Oh. Whoa. You're. 
there. Wow. Okay. And so I'm in some weird place now. This is an electric golem. That doesn't sound good. A crocodile. And I'm on ice or just regular floor? It's floor. Can you press... Cave wall. I'm in a cave. Can you press the floor button? I want to see what floor this is on. Press the floor button? I think it's like... There's a button that showed all the floors. Was that high? Yeah. You don't know. Or it's on the right. It's on the right? The... It's covered by the icon, I think. Yeah. So it connects to the sewers? There we are, the mouse. I had my mute on, sorry. Uh... Well, it doesn't look, doesn't seems look like a random connected. place to go. Maybe it's just a place to escape, but it's dangerous in its own right or something like that. Let's shoot that crocodile. Okay. There's a crocodile coming out of the ground. Do I want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a crocodile? I don't know. Try it. <laughs> oh, I got some money. Also, I just teleported randomly. It's like when you have teleportitis in NetHack. Okay, electric golem. I don't like the look of him. What might electricity monster be? Is there a portal over there? It might be. Uh, vulnerable to water, but I have no meat in that. What's that? Portal? Should we go in? It's portal sewers. to sewers. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, that sounds, I think that's closer to, like, normal maybe area. Doing it. I can get out of here. Yeah, everything seems strong there. Here we are in the sewers. Why are there bats down here? Bats in the sewers. Oh, we got some angry looking flies. They actually have devious grins, it looks like. Oh, a big sludge, by the way. Uh, uh we have big sludge and top, many toxic sludges, dude. Bats are fluttering about as usual. I'll shoot it. Ah, I shouldn't waste a bullet on it. We try quaking. I am near the wall, though. I don't. Th I don't know if that would affect me, but it's an increase for enemies next to the wall, so maybe it's fine. Let's try it. Okay, it damaged a few guys. It looks like nothing. Not a lot of damage. Maybe they have to be closer. Yeah, the damage reduced. Reduced with distance. I am submerged in wet. I don't know if I want to be submerged in wet. Sewer liquid. Oh, they split. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, poison. Ooh. It's a giant cloud of poison. Okay. Jeez, you guys are gonna be messy. I gotta be more careful. Ah. Uh, now you're bleeding. You're surrounded. Let's quake again. You should do firestorm. Yeah, let's do that. That hits all of them. Sweet. That was good. So these things, I think, are what explode into a. Um, Whatever effect that was. Okay, I'm almost dead. Let's use something. Uh, I guess I'll use the um, holy water. Okay, now I'm fully healed. Firestorm again to kill them all. Sure. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on that because the mana seems to go up pretty fast. So there's like no reason not to use it a lot. Gotta do that more. Should use more magic. I think I'm gonna go up. Or oh, yeah. Go to bed. It's, it's pretty late. Okay, Rob Bob's going to bed. So good night, Rob Bob. Good night. Thanks for joining. You're welcome. And just let me know if you want the bacon for the breakfast or the oatmeal. He said the oatmeal. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he had like six pieces of bacon. Okay, good night. Sleep tight.
Okay, Rob Bob. Rob Bob is gone. What do you think, Artur? I think it's just basically me and you. Would you like to see more of this? Or shall we wind down with some net hack? That was my original idea, but this is so similar, I don't know. Man, I'm, always, I'm always happy to play net hack, actually. Who am I kidding? I'm going to play this some more. Maybe when I die, I'll make a decision at that point. Oh, I think I don't like being in the dark. I need to find a torch. Do I have any torches I can hold or something like that? Oh. A rat king. Are you any spawning the rat soldiers? Let's get out of here. Choke point. Still bleeding. Mm -hmm. Dangerous games. Racking is still pretty healthy. I don't know about this. I'm still bleeding all over the place. Maybe I want to turn to a vampire and I can drink all of my blood that I drip everywhere. <laughs> Let's see what it does. If I turn to a vampire, can I like just drink all the blood? I'm gonna try it. Oh, of course, it didn't last long. That wasn't really the greatest idea, I guess. That guy's too strong for me. No, that's not going to the sludge. Though, I think the water is bad for vampires, I'm just realizing. And I can't shoot a good yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. Uh, you can choose between two forms essentially, and they have their pros and cons. And these guys don't leave blood, unfortunately. They just leave their goo, <clears throat> their slimy goo. And the water is bad for me. What? I moved down. Can I not do that? Oh, I think I hit it twice fast, so I counted as two space. Ah, nice spider blood and finishes. I am glad that they give you a prompt like this. <laughs> NetHack, for example, doesn't, doesn't always give you that. In certain situations, it does. Oh, what's our map looking like here? Uh, I guess I explore, can explore this area here. Go right, down, right. I feel like I might have to fight. This might be the boss of the steward, this Rat King. But he's too tough for me. Oh, there's nothing here. Wait, what is the status hidden? Oh. I've hidden some monsters with poor vision, is it? Okay. Bear with me one moment, I'm gonna take off this hot shirt. Don't worry, I have a t-shirt underneath, I'm not stripping naked. Um... Yeah, I don't know, I think I have to retreat, because that Rat King is just too much for me. So, therefore, I'll have to find some stairs up or down or... Whatever. But if we press the I key, we can see... Yeah, maybe this is not a matter of up or down, it would be a matter of going, uh, west. A river, though, what is the river? Did I go to the river? No, the maelstrom took me, I took, went to a portal that was right to the sewer. They did not go in a river, I don't think. No sunshine in the sewers, right? Where am I going? Oh, I can go. Let's explore a little more. I have to skip the rat cake, but I can explore the rest of this. I get out of the map. There really isn't much. It looks like there's more, but then it just kind of ends right there. So I think it's going to be going back the 
floor three. I'm gonna go over here. Or not, it's a dead end. Huh. Is there a way to go back to floor three? There might not be. I might have to go right here. Maybe that leads to the river. Interesting. But it's connected, right? Hmm. Now, you don't search for secret doors in this game. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know, I'm gonna try going right. So I guess the river. I have to make sure I don't hit the button too much because it really um cues up all your movements. If you hit right five times, it'll it'll just move you five times. I got another one of these douches. It's very convenient that there's these torches lying here. What's this a rat soldier? for the blood. What is that up there? Staircase, oh. Come here, slimy poo. Because there could be sunlight, I guess. Oh, we are back at floor three. Okay, that's how you get back to floor three. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting little sidetrack there, but uh, yeah, I'm not ready to fight that rat king. Hello, you're my friend. Oh. Is he getting zapped by sunlight? He is, maybe, ish. Uh. Do I have a bubbling potion still? I do. Good to buy a grimoire. But when I turn back into a person, I could get a spell. They said, Copper sword, though. I wish you, you could actually see what weapon you have. When you pick up something, it kind of automatically handles whether it's better or not. But I don't know about the store. Like, could I buy a worse weapon? I'm just going to go with a grimoire. Okay, so that'll be useful. Oh, sunlight is hurting this guy. So <laughs> look at that. I'm going up. Okay. To be clear though, I can drink a soul elixir. I have two of them. If I ever want to turn into a human and cast some spells. And not deal with uh, sunlight. It looks like at the top left of this map there's another little area to explore. It's probably nothing, but it's worth a shot. Sunlight. Ah, there's some stuff. The potion. That was L. Okay. Up I go to floor five. The organ. There's Santa Claus. Some bullets. Got a pungent potion, which could be teleport. Deceleration, which causes time to progress slower relative to your movement. For example, statuses last longer. Float provides levitation. Bloody mess, bloody dozu, sweetest cherry jam with this one. 
Got another grimoire. Whoa. That was great. That was in a green man. Slimy guy from the sewer, just to be annoying. I'm losing health fast here. What are my options even? To heal up, but I don't have blood, so. I do lizard leg. Looks like my choice is there a certain human, lizard leg. Uh, drink a random potion, hope for the best. <laughs> Access to all those nice spells. Hmm. But can I heal when I'm a human? Even probably not, right? Hmm. Oh no! I have a chance of teleporting away with this one. Let's see how I do for another couple of turns. Poison is not good though. Yeah, I killed a toe, that's good actually. Here's the medium sludge. It's got some tiny sludges, small sludges they're called. Let's get that blood, what am I doing? I don't like crap again. I got some gold here. Uh oh, this guy's gonna give me trouble. Mm. I wish these vampires would help me fight. You'd be surprised at how many... Whoops. Yeah, okay, this is the back in the olden days guy. Back in my day, we didn't have these soul elixirs. Kids these days don't know how easy they got it. With their soul elixirs and their lizard legs. All in all, I can't complain. Sure, it's swarming with the... Yeah, read this one. Let's see what happens. Uh, almost dead. But I think I can finish him with one more shot, hopefully. Oof, let's get some blood now. Okay, I need more blood though. Here comes the sunlight. What is it? 12.36 p.m. What's hurting me? Am I in the sun? Shit. In the sun. I didn't realize I was. Can't rest. You need to feed. I need to feed. What am I doing? I need some blood. Maybe I should just turn a human so I can just hang out and rest for a while. I don't know. If there's no source of blood around, I can't heal. And if, and if I have to fight to get the blood, you know, you can't really do that with low hit points very well. Unless you fight just really weak guys. And I got this sunlight causing me issues, so I don't know, maybe I'll just turn human. Will, will all these guys want to kill me then at that point? Let's go up here and turn human. Ah. Okay, now I can get a spell because I have two of these grimoires. Um, hmm. Cleanse, remove negative. That could be great. Removes one or more status effects. Glaciate. That would have been useful. It's the mermaids. Haste. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with um 
I'm leaning towards clan, but it's also something to consider is to go for the bonus mana. For now, I'm gonna go with cleanse. Oh, I have to forget a spell because I can only have four slots. Oh, shoot. That's tough. Um, I feel like Firestorm and Quake kind of cover similar areas ish. So maybe I'll wipe out the Quake. I'll do that. I hate it, but I'll do it. Another one. In this case, I'll probably want to upgrade Firestorm or take the max mana so I'm not wiping out something. Bomb sounds fun, of course. Oh, look at that! Transmutes a potion of your choice into a, a bomb, essentially. <laughs> Turns your potion into a bomb. I'm gonna go with upgrading... I don't know, because it's Harm is a failure. I really got to get my intelligence up. Uh, let's do a mana. I wish it was more than just one at a time, though. It's so, so minuscule. I'm going to rest right here. I'm still hunger stuffed. My hit points are going up pretty good. All right, 73 hit points. Cool. More Grimoire. Feels stronger. Oh, I read that one. It just gave me strength. That's great. I want intelligence right now, actually. A page from the short history of the Third Sangian War has been added to the books and letters menu. Where is that again? Here. Oh, can I read these things now that I'm human? Here we go. General Arrow Base. Trust me when I say we have a shared interest. On the outskirts of the border town Cragsbellow, there lies a tower inhabited by the worst of scoundrels. Maybe you've heard of it, but few know... Who resides at the top? None other than Fane. Oh, our good friend Fane that we hear so much about. I know during the war you wiped out all of Fane's lieutenants, but the vampire prince eluded you. I can offer you a bounty for taking care of Fane, but we both know the job will be reward enough. I suggest you conceal your identity on this mission, for Fane has both vampire and human in his employ. Short history of the Third Sanguine War. This better be really short. <laughs> Vampires and humans have warred since they first discovered each other millennia ago. Can't even spell millennia. But the Sanguine Wars were more widespread and politically complex than previous conflicts. Even so, the Third Sanguine War was quite short. It lasted only three years, beginning in early 574 SC and ending during the solstice of 577 SC. By the mid-6th century, the first two Sangian Wars were a distant memory. Peace prevailed for 160 years, ensured by the second bond, but not all were content. A third of the vampire population starved to death during the long hunger. They didn't have much blood, I guess. The human side was ravaged by extreme taxation under their new king, Rongraus. Sensing a growing discontent and an opportunity, the vampire prince Fane publicly cut ties with his father, King Seraphim, and launched his first attack on the capital city, Prasim. After 160 years of Seraphim's rule, Fane was desperate to make a name for himself, and he did. The prince, no, the prince had no difficulties gathering forces. Seraphim was viewed as a puppet king, and Rongraus was universally despised. That's page 104. Artist found the one page. I guess I only have that one page. A survey of greater Esmunian superstitions. In each corner of Esmunia, uh, Esmuna, exotic tales spring forth of the divine and the supernatural. In Udeth alone, one hears tell of all manners of lesser deities, demigods, fairies, monsters, large and small, and superhuman heroes. The greater superstitions, however, are found on all continents and known, if not accepted, by all peoples. This text examines these seven gods and their deeds. Ice Father and Fire Mother. These beings are believed by many to have created everything in existence. Today, they are rarely worshipped themselves, for they are not thought to interact with the world. But their creation myth provides an important foundation for understanding common religions. Here is one telling from the Book of Dazrus. In the beginning, there was naught but ice. Ice Father, in his isolation, waited 10,000 years for a companion. When the first wisps of flame danced, he saw, he saw they could not last. 
With his hand, he crafted the demons to do his bidding. They built a fire throne to give Fire Mother immortality. They built an ice throne to give Ice Father immortality. Their love spawned the sky and the sea and the gods and all things. Their five children are listed next in order of their birth and corresponding power. So once again, it says one out of seven, and I think I only have the one page. I, I'm wondering if I am missing something, though. Space doesn't do anything. Arrows don't do anything. There's nothing to click on. Let's like click on the corner, maybe, to turn a page. No. All right, I guess it's not. I mean, actually, I, I don't really want to re read seven pages of these things, but if... maybe it's just you have to collect each page one by one. Okay. So these guys hate me because I'm a human now. And this one's friendly with me, right? Here's a tip. If you're summoned to a high-numbered floor, go upstairs. Don't go downstairs. Don't go into the grotto. Up only. Don't make my mistakes. It's all very confusing. That sounds weird. <laughs> Shooting this guy. Pick up the blood. Let's do a firestorm. Ready, guys? Let's firestorm. On fire. Actually, this is uh, <laughs> yeah, I knew they were here, but it's a lot of enemies to deal with. Um, haste would be good. What was that? I like to do a red thing on him. I'm going to go with intelligence because I want to have better magical powers. Hooray. This person should help me fight. Oh, they have more blood. Oh, this health potion actually nice. I can always use that. And here we have a chest with nine bullets, adamantine breastplate, and an effervescent potion. Take all for sure. So this can be either a strength boost or an acceleration potion. Okay. And the adamantine breastplate plus nine is better than what I had. It sounds like it's much better. I think I had probably like, I don't know, maybe plus five. Here comes a grunt. Killed it in one shot with a gun. Ooh, what's this? A wolf spider. Poisoned me, of course. Ah, little spider. I'm starting to realize there are a huge number of character classes. I wonder if they're much different, though. Like, would some not do spells well, or... This could be curry noodle soup. Spicy as hell, it says Arturo. <laughs> that's, that's why it's good. It has pork, potatoes, tofu, and noodles. Mm, that sounds good. A really spicy noodle soup with pork, basically. And potatoes, too. I don't think it needs tofu, though. Usually tofu replaces the meat. I guess it could be like, um, yeah, it could be good. Maybe it's fried tofu. Mana, summoning potion. Summoning potion summons beasts around the user. That could be dangerous. Mana could be good. Actually, mana says it increases one's intelligence. It doesn't say temporarily. Usually these things say temporarily. But I'm wondering if that's permanent. And it fully restores your mana. So that sounds really good, good actually. Soul elixir. Okay. So I can turn into a human again. If I need vampire form there. It's a lap, uh, pencil golem. Lapis. Okay. 
shot him. He did a lot of damage, so I decided to just shoot him. Who are you? A hunter. The grunt scout, the hawkers, saddle, the brawlers, bar, the nobles, drink. That's down. Uh, who knew all the symbols are? Oh, here we go. Staircase up would be the pain. Should I get to one of those? I guess probably. What is this? Golden sword. I wonder if that's better than what I have. It is better, so I have an upgrade. Yay. Let's go up. High up. It's dark though. We need to find a torch. There's one. Okay. Coming? You coming to fight? Come on, who are you? Bring it on. Another light for you. That'd be good. Missed him? Well, spiders aren't too bad, except they poison you and they make a little, bunch of little spiders. It's a lot of blood if you're a vampire. Good if you're a vampire. Firestorm. Say what you will about Fane, but he saved us from obscurity, from weakness, from loneliness. the uh, key, so I guess I just attack the chest in that case. A mushroom creature. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at his angry eyes. That's funny looking. Should I shoot it? One good thing about shooting it is you get to, to test how much life it has, right? So you can see. I missed it. So shoot it again. It 18 damage, and it's like halfway dead almost, so it's not that bad. I'm just assuming it's going to like shoot a spore cloud or something like that, though. So let's see. Yeah, there goes the spore cloud. It's poisonous. They're called miasma, by the way. No, red toadstool. Miasma is a spell. Okay, it's dead. I am hungry, by the way. Let's drink a beer. It's amazing that a beer takes you from hungry to stuffed. <laughs> I know we talked about that already. But... Kind of funny. A rat assassin. Bring it on. Poisoned me, unfortunately. What is this Pac-Man ghost? Morai? Moroi? What is it, Moroi? Let's try shooting it. I am vulnerable now. Oh man, that thing made me vulnerable. And I am poisoned. And I got a vampire chasing me. Hey Ryan, you're back. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I, I mis-aimed. What's up, Ryan? Did you were you checking out Stu or had something else to do, or just quiet? <laughs> Bleeding. I don't like this. It's going not so great. Uh, I mean, I do have the healing potion, but not pixel dungeon, Ryan. Yeah, let's see if I can sustain the bleeding. Uh. But I can do cleanse to get rid of the negative effect. Let's try that. Okay, I got rid of the vulnerability, but not the bleeding. What am 
wonder if I could try it again in my work, because it says removes one or more status effects, so it might be like a random number. Let's try it again. It got rid of bleeding, nice. Now I just need to rest, but this guy's gonna harass me. Maybe I'll go down the stairs even and rest down there. Okay, I'm down here. Probably safe for a rest, so I'm gonna do that. Cool, nice. That worked out pretty well. Oh, you're grilling supper, cool. I always forget that you're like so, uh, a different <laughs> time scale than I am. What were you guys having? By the way, Ryan, there's another person near me selling um a Galaxy and uh what's it called? Arcade one up. It wasn't as cheap as the last one, but it was like I think it was two fifty. So I don't know. I didn't jump on it obviously, because if I didn't jump on the one hundred <laughs> really really I don't need it. It just if it was super cheap I wouldn't be able to resist. Meat burgers and veggie hot dogs. Meat burgers are the best kind. Okay, let's go up. Now that we're healed. What are they normally? Like four or five hundred? Yeah, but this one was used, of course. But ultimately, it comes down to I don't have the space and I would have to like make space for it. But if it was super cheap, yeah, I would just go for it probably. All right, this guy makes me vulnerable all the time. I hate it. Let's finish him off. Now I'm no longer vulnerable, I rested. I wish you could get these guys to help you, like maybe give them some money to help you fight. That would be cool. Yeah, we heard this tip before. Already put together is worth a hundred dollars. Oh, so you have to assemble. I didn't even consider that. Obviously that makes sense, but the only problem is that for me to I probably talked we talked about it before, but if I was gonna cart one of those home, I'd probably have to rent a truck. I've done that a couple of times. I rented a, a, a Ford F-150 from Home Depot. You know, we I mean, were actually saying it would fit in my Subaru, wouldn't we? We were saying that. We figured it would, would fit. I think we even checked the dimensions, or at least I did. <laughs> We got here. We have a steel shield better than what you have now. Cool. And we found another steel shield, so we're gonna sell the other one for 114. <laughs> Drive your Toyota Tacoma across the country. <laughs> It is scary how far away you are, right? How far is it? You know, like California to New York is about 3,000 miles. So what was New, New Mexico to New York? Pretty damn far. I think I'm closer to Arturo. <laughs> not really sure. I'm probably not really. What is going on over there? Some poisonous stuff. Got an unholy essence. Shooting Andor over here. Keep missing. Probably, probably got the dark. What is it? Ancient revolver? I can't imagine an ancient revolver would be too good. It's of no use to you, so it's uh, later for 50. Oh, he's my fr friend. Maybe not an enemy. Oh, he's, he's selling stuff, so even though he's a vampire, he's, he can sell stuff to a human. Okay. Interesting. I'm kind of interested in going a more with spells now. I think they're really helpful. But a bubbling potion can be which ones? Honey, I already... I should identify this one, probably. A profession can be strength or acceleration. So I guess it was like... I gotta do this in reverse. New York here. Or like, let's say New York here. New Mexico, like here ish. Uh, Monterey, like here ish. Hidalgo, like down here. <laughs> Something like that? Do I have it right? Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm far from all of you, though. Actually, I'm close to Stu. But... I don't know, I might go with the Grimoire. I like having 
build and upgrading mana and stuff. You can get charm. You're gonna drive down, pick up our true, and then drive to Long Island. And then we'll all hang out and play the games. <laughs> we'll make like a big, you know, you, you guys can stay as long as you want. I mean, I have a spare guest bedroom, you might have to share the bed. <laughs> Arthur and I will close down every bar from here to New York City. <laughs> what do you mean by closing down? All right, so charm looks cool, but I do have to keep in mind that I have these four spells. So I'm, I'm going to upgrade my Firestorm, actually. Go to level two on that. And if you notice, the failure rate is not too bad anymore because of my extra intelligence, I suppose. Next time I level up, I think I'm going to go with intelligence yet again. I'll think about it though. We'll see. Yeah, no, we're gonna play arcade games for like we'll make like a week week of it or something like that. We could do a big stream where everybody who actually views my stream will be here playing. But we'll stream stream that to the world and nobody will be watching. We'll get Stu over here. I'll have to get Andy um, and Janice. That, that, <laughs> basically, the five of you. <laughs> get the five of you here. That's all my all my regular viewers. Aside the weirdos who just come by and make a weird comment once in a while, like, "Do you speak Chinese? Do you speak Cantonese or Japanese?" Said that one guy. Did Stu hang out with a watcher? I don't know. Might have missed that. Scott was in New Jersey. Oh, I don't know who Scott is. I actually have a friend named Scott in New Jersey, but I think you're talking about somebody else. Get a nice table to smash it. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, effervescent potion. That's a strength or acceleration. I'm going to try the next time I'm in a decent fight. Like something that's not a pushover. Good nine bullets. It's good. I don't think there will be net hack tonight, guys. Unless some, if you either of you wants me to play net hack. I mean, no, I will switch to it. But I'm inclined to just play this until I die or we hit like 12.30 or something. Right now it's 12 o'clock here in New York. I just got a gluggy potion, didn't I? Oh, did I have that one already? What did I get? I got the holy water. That's what I got. That's good to have. So I can heal now. Scott is a new regular, okay. Shall we go to the graveyard, guys? Go to the graveyard. And Ryan said, I don't know how you guys stay up so late. Well, look, you have different hours, right? Like, when do you go to work? 5 a.m. or something like that? My, my work day starts at 9, basically, but if I'm a little late, nobody cares. <laughs> as long as I get my work done, basically. Alright, let's go now. We're going down to the graveyard. Spooky here. I wonder if I should be a vampire. Okay, where are we? This is us? No, this is an assassin. Wait, that is Serena. Oh, yeah, that's a Serena Arab base. Okay, we got some wolves. This should not be. Oh, a skeleton. My daughter would be so scared of this, but in a fun way, she'd be like, oh, a skeleton! I just realized my vamp meter is pretty full. I'm going to turn into a vampire soon. Okay, I'm surrounded, so I'm gonna do a firestorm. Here we go. Nice. I'm bleeding from the skeleton now. I like how the fire lights up the areas as well. Ryan said I get up at five. I can start. Start you can start whenever you want to. Oh cool. It's a larger skeleton? Yeah, the greater skeleton. I did play Splatterhouse. I think it was when I was doing Halloween stuff last year. For some reason, I'm not really into Splatterhouse, like, gameplay-wise. It's really cool stylistically, but I don't know. I just never get into it. I guess because it's not roguelike, right? Let's try shooting the skeleton to get an idea of how strong he is. 
Okay, he's actually not too smart. It's kind of funny the idea of trying to shoot a skeleton. You think it would like probably go between its ribs or something or nick a bone? <laughs> Alright, that wasn't hard at all. Oh, are these bones that. Hey, what? The bones. Oh, well, the bones form a regular skeleton. Interesting. Flatter house. I'll give it a try against Flatter house. I can do that. I definitely want to do a uh, horror y. Monday meme stuff again. I had a couple ideas. I want, one game I want to try is Project Firestar from Commodore 64. Project Firestar. I think I tried it last year, but it didn't work, so I'd have to resolve that issue. That sounds interesting. It's kind of like an alien sort of setting. Alright, leveled up. Do I want to stick with my plan and go with intelligence? I mean, I know all these things are useful. Project Fire Starts. You can give that a look up if you want. I don't know. These are all good. I'm going to go with intelligence, though. What I really need is probably dexterity is good for shooting the gun, right? That's a good thing to be able to do is to shoot your gun well. I'm going to use cleanse to get rid of bleeding. Yeah, i got to use these magic a lot. It's really good stuff, this magic. Um, haste is always good. It's always good to be fast in pretty much any roguelike or RPG. Yeah. It does look awesome. I, I've heard things about it for a while. Um, I got a Retro Gamer magazine recently and they had a whole like spread on it and it was like, it was kind of a... Sometimes they have articles that are like talking with the designer this one was not like that. It was like, here are the cool the cool parts of that game. So I actually skipped it over because it was starting to look too cool and I didn't want to get spoiled and everything. Okay, I gotta really try that. I wanna try that. But I think last time it didn't work, so that's something I have to work on. It's always the commoner stuff can be very finicky for some reason when you emulate the staircase to the mausoleum. Ooh, getting even more Undeady. If I ever make a roguelike or RPG or any kind of game, I want to make the graveyard do something different other than having undead. That's too obvious. The problem is what would happen? <laughs> okay, I say it's obvious, but it's also very illogical for to have undead, right? So, I don't know. What else would... You could have, like, grave robbers. <laughs> I don't know. Why am I... Why is it all red? That could... Bleeding? I'm not bleeding anymore. I'm kind of disturbed by this redness. Ryan says, It's funny, movie tie-in video games usually suck, but movie TV tie-in pinball games are some of the best. Huh, interesting. I never thought of that. What is this guy? Firefly, okay. Now, I gotta say, I haven't used Blast at all. Really, I, I keep thinking theoretically it would be great, but I haven't really come up with a good use for it. I wonder if I should actually knock that out of my spell slots. Oh! I have a nagging thirst. What is that about? Oh! I'm a vampire! That's why I was turning red, because the vamp meter was filling up. Okay. I understand. Let's drink some blood in that case. Elvira has some of the best pinball table call. I think you should type pinball tables instead of boobs. Oh, this is a friendly firefly. I guess I'm a vampire now. The skeleton is still an enemy. Star Trek and Adam Sandler. I always thought, um, what did I play? I think I would probably mention this. When I was at the Retro Gaming Expo a couple of years ago, I played, they had a whole bunch of pinball things. In fact, they had too many pinball in my opinion. But I played this cool Black Knight pinball game. I think it's relatively new. I wanted to try the Iron Maiden one, but they were, it was reserved for a tournament that I was not participating in. I would not do it, do well in a tournament anyway. Uh. But if I ever get a really nice, dedicated game room, like 
In other words, the room I have here, we call the game room, but it's really my wife and I, we each have a desk. It's kind of our office. We each have a lot of our junk. I have my arcade cabinet, my board game shelves, my shelves of other stuff. Um, but if I ever had like a real dedicated game room, I could have uh, a couple arcade cabinets, a couple pinball games, maybe a board game table. Because when we don't have pandemic times, I tend to have uh, board game days here. Maybe I'll do it again this year, I don't know, or next year. Oh, Black Knight is old by now? Okay. <laughs> I always heard um, there was a good pinball game called Medieval Madness. I never played it though. So you've probably heard of it. Uh, where am I going? Should I go to the mausoleum? I guess so. Alright, we're going to the mausoleum. Though. It's gotta be scarier. Near Santa Claus. What is this? Oh, the graveyard staircase. Got six bullets. A tomb. I was there when Fane captured Ron Grouse's personal guard, led them to a field, turned each one and said they could swear loyalty or face the sunrise. Oh, wow. You know, the way it's done in Old Tale, they always wondered which one they would choose. It was a thunderstorm that did them in. Wow. Pinball Hall of Fame in Vegas, huh? I guess they have a ton of pinball machines. There's a sound. I thought it was like spraying water, like sprinklers, but I, it was this game. I'm like, what am I hearing? I have to take off my headphones for a second. Please, it's not fireworks. <laughs> what do you think of Medieval at Madness? I guess it's probably not quite the same experience digitally. But I guess you get the idea of the gameplay. Anyway, this is a better revolver. Look at that. An aura. What is that word? Aura. Aura. <laughs> aura Chalcum? Better than what you have. I can shoot better now. Hello. One day we will return to Wunnamur. Wunnamur? Short days, cool breezes, jagged mountains, and dry as a bone. One day we will return. Ryan says, I was watching videos on YouTube. They have so many pinball tables. It's like a football field size space with pinball table. That's cool. This guy looks like he has a sash on or something. He's a noble. Yes. Ain't seen you before. I trust you, but can't say the same for the humans. They get thinking you're out of a place. They get thinking you're out of a place that they might fry you to a crisp on principle. A wolf spider again. Drink some blood. Hey, the wolves, these spiders that. Wolf spider that has all the babies. That's great for blood drinking, I think. What is this? Steel plate leggings? Cool, that's better than what I have. Ryan doesn't like silly pinball teams. What's this example of a silly, silly one? That's because pinball is serious business, right? Oh, mausoleum level two. Elvira. I, saw, I probably mentioned this before. I saw Elvira at a convention here on Long Island called Icon. I didn't like, you know, get really. They had, you know, they had like she would give autographs or whatever, sell merchandise. I didn't really do any of that, but she, I saw her there. She was hanging out with Kevin Sorbo, who was also there for the same reason. Oh! A lot of stuff here. Guess I gotta fight this hunter. Want the hunter's blood? Get out of the way. Of course. Let's do a. Oh, I can't do fire. I'm a bad
She does look amazing for her age, yeah. At the time I saw her at Icon, she was probably about 50 or 55. Probably, probably more like 50. Yeah, she looked great. She was not in costume, by the way. Or makeup. She was just her regular self, Cassandra Peterson, I believe her name is. Once again, I thought I heard the sprinklers, but it's the, it's the ambience of the game. She does have fantastic comedic though. Fantastic other things. Oh, I don't want to go on the water because vampires don't like water in this game. What is this? So, oh, or, or whatever that aura chalcum thing is. Plate legging. That's probably a lot better than what I have, but I can't get it unless there's a way I can levitate. There's a levitation potion, isn't there? Do I have something that can give me that? Yeah, I can drink this one. It would give me teleport, deceleration, or float. Yeah, let's just drink it and see if it'll work. I mean, it's only a one in third chance of being float, but let's try it. Okay, it was teleport. Alright, so now we know what that does. That's fine. Let's see. Ryan says, did you go to homecoming dance, Mark? No, I was not a uh, school dance kind of a guy. They're breathalyzing the kids. Yeah, I know, I wasn't really, you know, maybe I was just not social enough, but, uh, <laughs> wasn't really my thing. Got the Devourer, here's Indiana Jones over here. Drink his blood. Delicious blood. Breathalyzing the kids, jeez. Keep glancing over and seeing that, like, ugh. Bronze sword is better than what I have. Okay. I have to say one. I, I kind of like the you don't have to manage the equipment manually, just kind of handle stuff. On the other hand, I wish I could actually see what I had, though. Is there a button I'm missing? Probably something that shows what you have, right? I have these bracket keys to cycle left and right. And also V is examined. I missed that one. Hmm. V is to examine. Oh, it's just like using the mouse cursor, but you can use the keyboard. So that's not really worthwhile. Should I be smashing these tombs in the hope of finding something? It seems like no. An undiagnosed Asperger's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, not this jerk. I don't like these guys. Making me vulnerable. New gun. New breather legging mithril. Me through the plate legging better than what I have now. Let's turn on the light. Get a gun. Or or a chalcum. Chalcum powder, I don't know. Gotta resist the temptation to bang on the key a lot if I want to move forward a lot, because that can be bad. Yeah, that's connected up here. Let's go down. Pick the southwest corner, and then I think we're done with the level. This, this, this is where we came from? Yeah, the mausoleum. Part of me wants to smash all these things, but it seems like nothing that you can just... Ra like any random object that you smash will not actually have things in them. Just the chests. I think we're basically done here. Who's this one? Can't talk to them? Oh, choose the creature. Vlad says, bring me more bodies. Whoa. Hey, Vlad. Direction to the point, right? So. Okay, it's not worth going over the water. I already have this gun, right? Again, I wish I could see, but I think I already have that one. What time is it? 12 18? Yeah, so I'll stick around to 12 30. Then I'm done. There has to be a way to see your shit. I just need to remember, is it worth... Yeah, 
think I got the legumes. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I got the mithril, right? Is that the last one I got? So I think these ones are better. It's just... Now, if I want to check, is it worth using a levitation? Although I don't have one right now, but if I did... You know, I would need to be able to see if this is better than what I have already, but... I just don't think there's a way to see your equipment. The new Halloween movie? Uh, I don't have any intention of seeing that. I know my brother saw it. He said it was... Good in the first hour and a half, and then they totally took a giant dump on everything. I'm not sure exactly what he was talking about. <laughs> my brother's the one in the in the Discord server named uh, Br what's his name, Brian, Brian, Brianiac or something, Brianiac man. His name is Brian. Um, where the hell am I going? Let's go staircase down. There is no staircase down. Staircase leading to a branch. I guess we just go back to the mausoleum. So mausoleum level one and two is just what we've explored, and that's it. I don't really keep up with uh, the Halloween movies. I just watched the first one repeatedly. <laughs> I actually have a soft spot for the third one, even though it doesn't involve Michael Myers. I'm sure you know the one I'm talking about with the kids and the masks that kill them. <laughs> It's so weird that I like it. Alright, so I'm back up in the mausoleum. Um, I think I need to eat some blood. Drink some blood, that is. Should we go back to the graveyard, I guess? I think we're done here, right? Yep. But, you know... Everybody has their own opinion, so maybe you'll like it. As far as the Halloween movie goes. They had some blood lying around that didn't dry up. That's great. Let's get rid of this guy. I hate him. So, where do we even even want to go next? We're on floor six. Is there a stair up that we found? I'll lower the volume a tiny bit. It seems a little too loud. Okay. Uh, stairs leading up would be pink. So that's to the left. Slime. Thank you, Slime. Gotta be aware of the sun. It is now midnight in the game after midnight. Every space is four minutes. It's amazingly fast. Uh oh, we got a bunch of dork munches. Come here, dork munch. Give me your blood, dork munch. Stop standing on the blood. I need to drink it. Up to level seven. I feel like I'm way farther than I should be because uh, <laughs> you look at this map. I'm I'm assuming it only goes up to maybe floor eight, nine, or ten. Have you watched any Night of the Living Dead in the last week, Ryan? I decided to watch it once. Uh, I don't know about a week or a week or two ago, after we were talking about it. On um, Paramount Plus, because my wife works at Viacom CBS now, which I might have mentioned. And so we get Paramount Plus for free. And the funny thing is, it's probably only there because it's in the public domain. <laughs> it's like, like, they figured, yeah, why not? And it, I guess probably any streaming service can have it then. You can buy blood for 31. Hmm. That might be good. And the Holy Water, too. Blinding Potion. Why would the blinding potion? I don't think you can throw them like in the hack and blind somebody else. I think we just blind yourself, so that's kind of crap. You watched the angry video game nerd commentary on? That's interesting. The only 
commentary I saw was, well, first of all, the one on the DVD, which uh, it's been a long time, so I don't remember who was on it, but it was probably George Romero and maybe somebody else, like maybe the, the Barbara actor. Um, but I saw, if you if you ever seen that movie, American movie, with those, first of all, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to see that stat. But they were commenting on Land of the Living Dead. Anyway, uh, yeah, Unholy Essence could be good to have, but I'm inclined to definitely get some Holy Water and Blood. I guess I could get Unholy Essence, too. Hell is good, too. That's your food in this game, apparently. Okay, let's get Blood for starters. Holy Water. Oh, you know American movie, great. Yeah, so there's one video of those two guys, uh, talking about Night of the Living Dead, and they're so ridiculous. <laughs> Had fun watching that. Let's get an Unholy Essence. And an Ale, how about it? I'll save the rest of my money. Poison. Oven. <laughs> I actually watched the movie Coven as well. On YouTube. I like when somebody cor 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 corrects his pronunciation. He says, Coven? That sounds like oven, man. It's Coven. We got a marauder here. All right, let's kill him. I don't want to get too confident, but I feel like I've got a decent handle on the game at this point. Like, I feel like I've, I don't feel like I uh, have any strong weakness at the moment. Obviously, any single puff monster could cream me, should I run into one. But I'm not afraid of the pencil golem here, the lapis. What is this word, lapis, though? Is that, does that mean something? I'm going to look that up. I'm joking that it's a lapis, like a pencil, but... Napis is a modern Afghan restaurant offering some of the best ethnic food in Washington, D.C. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a stone. It's like a blue stone. Okay. It's a gemstone. I, never, I don't think I've ever heard of that gemstone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right either. Yeah, let me get back to my window with the chat. Here we are. Ah. Uh, Rather being annoying. Okay, Colvin, man. Go to toe to toe with the lapis. Lapis. By the way, if you guys like the stream, please hit a like. Last week I got one like and one dislike, and I was I was crying myself to bed for three hours. No, just kidding. I just feel a lot better when I get a lot more likes than dislikes. <laughs> yeah, I seen the remake. Night of Living Dead. Careful with those torches, comrade. He came here to get out of the light, you know. I'll turn him on in his face anyway. Uh, and the remake's good for the most part. There's some, I don't know, some of the major changes they made. I, eh. I know uh, people dislike what they dislike. I don't know. Sometimes I think it might be that I, sh I have a game like uh, last week. I had um, how did I play last? Week? Pixel Dungeon, and then I switched to eight six eight hack. So I wonder if you know it's, it's advertised as Pixel Dungeon. And then somebody sees 868 hacks, they say, what the hell? And they just hit dislike and leave. So I bet something like that happens sometimes. Hardly just could not like what I'm doing, huh? They could not like it. One guy gave me a really scathing comment in one of my Hell and Trolls videos. It was so mean that I just deleted it. 
bot. It was my Arena of Kazan video. But in, the, in the end, it doesn't matter too much because they have something like 26 liked and one dislike on that video. Poisoned by the mushroom. Angry mushroom creature. Guess they don't bleed blood, huh? Tony Todd is your preferred. Okay, well, you see. I'm gonna start a hole. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can't let him get to you too much. But this guy was a real dick. He was like saying that I don't speak well and that my. I need to. You know, I'm using a handheld camera. Back then, I was using a handheld camera for my intelligence controls. You know, it was very low budget, but he was really mean about it. I was just like, fuck you. And I went to his channel and then I disliked his shit because he had crap, crap videos as well. <laughs> He said, it was, he said, he actually, he, he started the comment with the word, the sentence, unwatchable garbage. It really was like, this is my most popular video. It has like something like 170 hours of watch time. It has 26 likes and his single one dislike. So if 26 people liked it, clearly it's not unwatchable. <laughs> but I didn't want to get into it with him. I was just like, block him, delete comment, done. <laughs> Page has been added to books and letters menu. Uh, where's that menu for that again? Oh. Here, right here. This one's no oh yeah, I'm a vampire, so I can't read. Only one word though, apparently. Hey, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. I just wanted to be hanging out. You know, I'm not trying to be one of the over top over the top guys, you know. <laughs> We're all friends here. Not trying to be a hot tub girl. Nobody wants to see me in a hot tub anyway. I'm certainly not a girl. Not trying to be the best player. I, I died? Shit, I didn't... I didn't realize I was in danger and then it did 39 freaking damage. Holy crap, that sucks. Getting too involved in the conversation too, but I did get hit a lot in one hit. So I don't know if I can blame my chatting. <laughs> All right, well that was a good run, I think, for a game that I'm still a new bet. And now we get to enjoy this um, music that resembles like a uh, what do you call this? I don't even know what you call this. It's not a polka, right? Maybe it is like a polka. But I did say I was going to stop at 12.30 and I died at 12.30. So that kind of works out. That chick on Twitch. Which would... Yeah, okay, I think I know the one you mean. You can wear a bikini and get top spot go for... I guess. I mean, sure. I don't blame the person. Did you see there was a leak of uh, which streamers... Uh, not salaries, but how much money they made. Just the top streamer made, I think it was something like seven million, and it was like a large time frame, like two years. But still, jeez. All right, yeah. So take care, Ryan. Take care, Arturo. Take care, anybody else who might be watching. Uh, I know I haven't done Monday Mame for two weeks in a row. I think I'll try to fix that this Monday. It's just been a uh, life's been a little exhausting lately. And last Monday was basically Columbus Day, and my wife had to work, but uh, I had Edie here with my daughter here with me, and I was off from her, so I was just trying to make good time with her. I took her out to a uh, a park, and we hung out by the lake and did all kinds of stuff. So. It, Somehow by the time it was nighttime, I was so exhausted. But anyway, I'm going to try to do it next Monday. And we'll see what we do. I might just continue playing um, Chrono Trigger. But I'm open to other ideas. You can always let me know in Discord if you have an idea. But that's all for now. Thanks, guys. Please like. Please like. I need your likes desperately. <laughs> all, right, all right. Take care, guys. Bye.